Pastor David! How did you do this? Sorry. I don't know. How could you do this to me? And for the past two weeks, none has come to visit him. Does that mean the family has given up on him? Since there is no one footing the bills, I don't think it's necessary we continue keeping him on life support system. I will take the necessary steps to disengage him. I will be in my office. Okay, doctor. Doctor, he just moved his toes now. Are you serious? Yes, doctor. Oh my goodness, this is a good sign of revival. That's good news. Oh yes, indeed a good news. I'll be right back. Okay, All right, doctor. just put your eyes on him, okay? Okay, doctor. This is my house. So this is not your house, sir. This is my house now. What are you saying? Who are you? I should be asking you that question, sir. Who are you, sir? This is my house. Who are you? You can check the next street. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be excuse, excuse, me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Please, and please, I don't want to disrespect you. I don't want to embarrass you. I don't want to insult you. This property here belongs to my dad. He bought this house and we've been living here for months. From a lady here, from somebody. Please. Wait, you say check you've been the living next here place. For months? Wait, wait, wait. You've been living here for months. I've been living in this house for months. Is it for who? From a lady. I don't know. I don't know what's her name. I don't, I, I, from a lady, sir. Hey, God. Hey, God. You can check the name. Maybe you are mistaking this place for another place. You can go check at least this girl. This house look like the other one. You can go there and check. And I'm gonna sold my house. Hey! I'm gonna sold my house. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Deception. I said, leave this place! Papa, please. I beg you. I know I wronged you. I wronged God. I did so many bad things. I am sorry. Please. You devil's incarnate. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. No, just look at you. I will not stop regretting knowing you. I brought you into the ministry. I showed you the true God. Now listen to me. I don't want to see you anywhere around my premises. Leave now. Papa. I said leave. I beg you, please. I know I did wrong things. I'm sorry. Forgive me now. Forgive me, please. Wait. Thank you. I you now you. know how to kneel. You now know I have a house. Look at your mates. They're all doing well for themselves and their ministry. What did you do? 
you chose to rob the body of Christ to the mud. And you are here talking. See, I don't want to see you anywhere close to me again. Elijah! <laughs> Elijah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, please. Don't touch me again. I'm messy on me now. I'm messy on me, please. I don't want to see you anywhere close to my house again. Please. I don't want to lose my job. Papa, please. Please. Oh, God, I beg, I beg, I beg, oh, God, please. Beg, beg. Oh, God, go. Papa, stop. Ah. Oh, God, please, they go now. Oh, God, please, now. Ah. Deception is real, a jawani a joker, from grace to grass, beware of them, wolf in sheep clothing. Deception is real, a jawani a joker, from grace to grass, beware of them, wolf in sheep clothing. Deception is real, a jawani a joker. From grace to grass, beware of them, wolf in sheep clothing. She not the fear at all. She not get to shame. Sweet, oh, it's very sweet. The corn is sweet. You like it? How much for this one? It's 100 naira. I know corn. Should you get it? No, I don't have fear, but I have coconut. I just bring my manager. Put this out. Put one coconut and one corn. How do you say your corn? How do you say you're coming? Mommy! I'll finish selling the pure tower. Give me another one. My boy! Big boy! I'm so proud of you. Is it that, eh? And look at the money. Wow! I'm going to buy you a bicycle this time around, eh? Thank you! <laughs> Let me finish attending to them. I'll come and see you. Sit down, sit down. Uh, sorry. Give me one. Give me this one. This one? Yes. I don't want to give me one. Oh, what's this now? Eh? What's this now? Why are you doing this to me? Eh? Please, please, I beg you, please. Please, don't, don't throw me my children away. Please, I'm begging you. Please, oh God, Tony, please. Please, please have mercy. See, eh? you, you know what I don't like about all this thing? Ah, please, 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 you are telling me. I don't like somebody begging me. You know the right thing to do. Just do it. <laughs> I will do it. I will do the right thing. Please, just give me two days. Two days, I will pay you the money. Please, don't throw me my children away. Please, pity me. Pity a breastfeeding mother like me, eh? please. Eh? Breastfeeding what? You're a breastfeeding mother. What's my business with that? You know the right thing. Just do it. And leave the others begging. I don't like begging. Please, I beg you. I will pay. I will pay. You, 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 see, eh? you don't know what is happening now. The owner of this vicinity is really angry with me. He's even angry that I, I accommodated you here. Hey! Please. Please, I'm begging you. Please, just two days. Please. Uh, if, if I don't pay in two days, arrest me. Th throw us away. I will pay. Just yeah. give me two days, please. See ya. See ya. I'm pleased you're my children. See ya. People will say I don't have conscience. And I don't have conscience. I know you're a good man. I know you're a good man. Oh. Hi. See ya. See, if I come here in two days' time and you don't give me my 2000 now, you will not like me. Makatuku, you will not like me. Because if I come here, I, I will finish you. My body will be doing... And you don't like it. I know you. You don't like it, though. I know, I know why I'm saying this. Please. I know why I'm saying this. You don't like it, though. Oh, Makayeji. Oh, Makayeji. If I come here, you don't give me my 2,000. Makola. Hey, I've told you. I will give you, please. I've said my own. Thank you, Agatonio. Thank you. 
Hey! 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 Where do I go from here? Oh, please, God, please, I beg you, please help me. Help me, oh, help me, God. I know you can do it for me. I know you can do it for me, Lord. I know you can do it for me. There's nothing you cannot do, God. Please help me, help me. Hey! Chimo! Ogongo, my brother. I'm here. Your son has come to me for the fourth time now. He's complaining bitterly on how you threw Choma, your daughter, out of the house for the past two years now. And when she came back to beg for forgiveness, you told her categorically clear that you have disowned her for good. Okonkwo. Your son and I, in fact the entire family, are bitter on how you hardened your heart towards your own blood. Okonkwo. What was the sin that Choma committed? that you have to say such thing to her. Please, my brother. Please. Find a place in your heart to forgive her. Let us go out there and look for her. Let us go and bring her back home. We all know that she erred. But we should not forget in a hurry that she is the only daughter of this family. Are you done talking? Yes. To err is human. To forgive is divine. Well, I've heard you. Anytime I'm ready to discuss this issue, I will send for you. Hmm? Okonkwo, well, let us discuss it now. Please, Papa. We have been begging you for a long time now. This is the same thing you said the other time we talked about this. Please, Papa. Forgive my sister. Be cool. Papa, please. Obina. Papa. The next time you report me to my elder brother again, I will disown you as well. Mark my word. Okonkwo. Okonkwo. Okonkwo, are you walking out on your elder brother? Okonkwo? Uncle, can you imagine? Okay. I know what to do. I have to report him to the elders. Uncle, please do. No. Oh, pl please do. What a nonsense. How can Okonkwo behave in this way? Okay. So, your father refused to listen to your uncle, his elder brother? Yes, that is what happened. This is serious. And you said you also threatened to disown you as well. Yes, I can't believe it. But why so much hate on your elder sister? How can your father do this to his only daughter? Yes, she did a terrible thing in her marriage, but she doesn't deserve to be treated this way. Yes. Well, I don't blame him. He is paying. He is paying by the way my sister disobeyed him and got married to that hopeless and useless man of God. That let that divorce her in a shameful way. 
you know, my father gave him my sister to marry in the act of Durex. God would punish that man. God would definitely give him his put to it. Chai. So, what are you going to do now? Now that no one's know Auntie Choma whereabouts. So painful, my love. What is such lovely and good rich woman? I'm thinking of going to the city to go and look for my sister. I miss her honestly. Especially her son. I miss him so much. I understand. I'm, like, I'm not sure you understand. If not for you, what will I have done? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Mbako. If not that, you are my friend. If not that, you are my junior in both primary and secondary school. I would have asked you out of my compound this minute. What is it? I am sorry. You better be sorry. You better be. Why would you bring up this conversation again? For a girl I've already disowned? Why? It is. No, 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 you know the kind of person I am. You know my temperament. You know. Once I vomit a word, it doesn't come back to me. Don't try it again. What is it? It's true. I know, but. There is no but in this. No but. You want me to practice my military tactics on you? Or you forgot that I'm a retired army officer? What is this? Huh? Why you people like this? Why you, why you keep pestering me about this issue? Now, let me warn you. Don't ever come here because of this matter again. You are here to visit me. Fine. Fine, I'm not stopping you. Stay there. Sit there. And remain visiting. As soon as you are done, that's the gate. Okay? You can leave. You want to go? It's the boy. I am saying, consider your grandchild, your grandchildren that you so longed for. How could you make this kind of decision? Oh. Choma. 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 You used to be your father's pride. Why did you go this far? Why did you end up this way? How will you reach to this service, my husband? Also, God took over everything. And the important thing is that the church understood the message. You preach about love and forgiveness. Yes, that was Holy Ghost doing his things. Hmm. Glory be to God our Father. Amen. I actually love the parts that you elaborated about the good shepherd. When Christ said that a good shepherd must take care of all the sheep assigned to him. And if one is missing out of the hundred, he should leave the ninety-nine and go in search of the missing one. Just that in particular. Exactly. You are right. Mm. Mm. It is so amazing how you preach about love and forgiveness of sin. You taught us and you told us not to hold grudges against one another. 
that we should at all times be ready to forgive the heads of our nails so that God in his infinite mercy can show us his love and his blessings. You are right. That is the word of God. And the word of God is life. I am here to ask you. Don't you want God to show you his love and infinite mercy just as you have taught the congregation today? What are you saying exactly? And where are you driving at? <laughs> My husband, I am sorry. Dear Pastor Duke, you cannot preach what you do not practice. No, you cannot. You have to let go of the pain and unforgiving heart. I am talking about Pastor Israel, the one that you have hated, disliked, <clears throat> and have refused to forgive him. That one is out of context. Please, I don't want you to raise this matter again on my table. My point is that you cannot teach the church to forgive one another when you have built an unforgiving heart towards a pastor who went astray. There you go again. I pray that the Holy Spirit speak the right word to your heart and redirect your step and redefine your soul. Amen. You know the husband you're married to. I don't want you to raise this matter any longer in my house because you will not like what I will do to you. Dear Pastor Duke, listen to your preaching. And do not act otherwise. God bless you, husband. You're welcome, woman of God. My word of crumbled, yeah. my life is shattered. Madam, Madam, Madam. No. Oh, all is well. All is well. Uh, you want buy corn? Yeah, I want corn. Please give me the ones of 100 Naira. Okay, these ones. Yes. Okay, I will need five pieces. Five? Yes. I don't have um, black nylon to package as well for me. No vest, only white nylon. I don't search, I don't see them. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, you don't want pie? No, 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 no. I just want only corn alone. Only corn? Yes. 
Hope this one is fresh, though. It's not fresh, though. I just buy them today. Yeah, it's fresh, it's fresh. Thank you. How's the baby doing? She's fine, as you can see. She's enjoying her sleep. Oh, Allah, thank, thank you. Thank you all. I beg they come all. Oh. You too slow, you too slow. 
Fast, fast. Uh -huh. Fast, oh, fast. Time is money. Go, yeah, yeah. Go, go. Go, yeah, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh. This was a disturb me. Oh, come so, on, come on, come on, they wait me for death. Fast, come. Hey, I beg, I come, no, come, come, No, man, this is bad, boy, not the fast. Fast, 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 fast. Fast, fast, fast. Walk up fast, walk up fast, walk up fast. This year, this year, come here. Come here. I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay you. Oh, yeah, drop my fast. This is my market. Come on, you go add money, yo. Because you waste my time. I beg you. Now, something I'm here, you talk before. Just say, for God's sake, now say they give you this. Oh, yeah, now. Mama, add something now. That one, what happened, though? That be the biggest, highest money for Nigeria. What's going on, Israel? Hello, ma. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry to bother you, please. I mean, the man that brought your goods, the, the barrel pusher, do you know him, please? No, I don't know him. I just knew him in the market. Yeah, he's the trunk pusher. Yes. I don't know where he's living, but his name is Israel. Just enter the market, just ask of Israel. They will show you. Israel? Yes. Wait, is that really yes, him? Yes, yes. That is him. Yes, Pastor Israel. I don't know if he's the pastor, but his name <gasps> is Israel. What is happening? His fair complexion. He's, wait, am I in trance or something? Pastor Israel! Pastor Israel! Bind the enemy concerning your life. 
Amen. I bind the enemy concerning your womb. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You shall be healed. Amen. I release healing power into your life. Amen. Holy Ghost, fire. Fire. Kill every iniquity inside your body. Amen. Every foreign object inside your body. Ah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Ah, you shall be healed. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Sister Amen. Tina. <sighs> As we were praying, I could feel it in my spirit. The Lord told me that the fibroid in you has melted away. Amen. Amen. And you have been healed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So all you need to do for me now is just go to the hospital. Let's just be sure. Go to the hospital. Do a scan and let the doctors confirm. I believe in my spirit that you are healed. Let them confirm that you are indeed healed and the fibroid is no longer in your body. Amen. I believe too, Pastor. Amen. And, uh, Sister Tina, when I was praying, I saw a, like a booklet being handed over to you. It was a visa, a passport, ah! Canadian Jesus. passport, with a visa yes. inside being given to you. Yes, Pastor. Have yes. you been praying about that? Yes, Pastor. Oh, yes. God is good. Yes. God is good. Ah, Jesus. It shall be released Lord. unto you this month. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. This is oh. what I've been praying for all my really? life. Really? If God does these two things for me, I will never forget you, Pastor. I will not. Give glory to God. Ah, thank you, Jesus. God, you would. Thank you, God Lord. Is good. He's it's awesome. Okay. Thank okay. you. Calm thank down. You, Calm down. It's okay. It's done. Okay? So just give me the feedback about the hospital. All right? So we'll meet again some other time. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Please make sure you call the next person when you step out. Thank you so much. Tina, are you all right? Those bones can't leave my skin. I can't believe what I just saw. <sighs> this is really, really shocking. I mean, you told me that this was the same pastor that prayed for you and your fibroid tumor disappeared. He also prayed for you your visa for Canada was released. This is very shocking. I don't even have words to quantify what I literally saw. I mean, that man of God prayed for me right in his office. And I was healed of my fibroid. I got my visa to leave this country same month. Bella, I'm not joking. Like, I know what I'm saying. You're serious. How, 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 how did this happen? You are definitely serious about this. I am. I am serious. I mean, I, I even remember you, each time you call me, you know, you remember? I told you, 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 you. I told you about my pastor several times, right? Yes, you that told me. The same but, but you also told me that um, um, I think his building or his ministry collapsed and after a while the man ghosted. That is the same man. Wow. That is the same man. Unbelievable. <sighs> Bella, you know what? No, what? I think I need to see his head pastor from where he came out from. Yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. Like how how did he 
How did it fall out like that? What reduced him to an ordinary barrel pusher? How did that happen? I this know. Is, this, is, this is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I think the right thing to do is to see the head pastor like he yes, suggested. Ah, oh, let's just go. I can't believe what just happened. I need to leave this market. I am ashamed of being called a pastor. I am ashamed of answering that name. I am ashamed of calling God to help me. I feel like God will strike me to death if I pray to Him. My life is cursed. The life of God is rekindled against me. I cannot call His holy name with my cursed nature. I just have to leave here.
man. Please, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm here to look for the same man I asked of um, earlier today. Please, do you know where I can find him? Um, am I your timekeeper? Why, 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 what kind of disturbance is this? You came in the morning, I told you I did not see him. But later after you left, I later saw him. Now, this evening I are coming again. He passed just now. Just follow here, you will see him. Follow here, follow here. I should just follow here. Yes, now. yes. Hello, Ella. I am still in the market. Yeah. I return to see if I can find him. I met the same woman and she said she saw him around. It's over four hours I've been here. Ella. All my shadows are cancelled for the day. I must find this pastor. I must. All right. I'll see you when I come back. No, I'm coming direct to the house. All right, thank you. Oh God, help me. What happened? The pastor I was dreaming he would conduct my wedding. I mean, what went wrong? What happened to his mega church and congregation? What happened? No, he can't fall out just like that. He looked at me when I called him Pastor Israel. He's the one. The woman also called him Israel. Maybe he's somewhere observing me and has refused to come to me. Oh God, this is too much to think out.
carry all these things. Carry pack all these things. Ah, 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 ah. Oh what is going on here? What did Madame, I do? Madam, you take this land, they say. You know they pay any levy. Portion fee, you know they pay. Tax, you know they pay. Environment and call, nothing. You they are they say. Nobody told me I would pay anything now. It was one man that gave me this position to stay. Madam, take time, oh, eh? Yeah, now your papa land, eh? Now give us money, where will they go? By the time we don't carry this thing, reach office, you go tell that mommy come meet us for office. Say that the man get this land, where they say, Abi. Guy, carry this thing, where they come for Oga, 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 wait. Hey, I, I just started selling here last week, oh. It was last week I started selling. That one not be our business. You must pay anything, anything where they come up for this land. Not be our business. Hey. Don't have money. Okay, okay. Oh, guy, why you please? Easy, easy, easy. How much is the money? This portion now, where they did, you go pay us 3,000. Environmental, 1,000. Tax, 1,000. Everything could be 5,000 naira. Or if you can't stay rich office, you go pay 30,000. You never gonna do. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, guy, oh, wait now. Oh, guy, wait, please. Be gone, be gone, please. Okay. Let me pay and uh, 1,000. You know they collect shish. Everything must be complete. You know they collect even half. Hey. If you know that they do, we'll come up for you. It's a waste of our time. Oh. Please. Please, I'm begging you. Please, I'm begging you. I'll find you. Okay. 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 This is the only money I have here. Yeah. I don't have any other money. If I have, I will give you a big one. Because please, please, this is 2,000 naira, please. I don't have any money here again. Madam, I collect this money because this picture will carry for her. If no, be out. See, you make a tell you, know how that tell will come for you, go give us a 5,000 naira. DM me. I'll find me. Daddy, you're Sweet corn, oh, buy your sweet corn. I see they hot, oh, buy your sweet corn. Buy your sweet corn, oh. Buy your sweet corn. This one, a junior, is not back. I hope these people have not caught him. It's not like him. I don't want you to keep selling that pure water. I'm not comfortable with that business again. I will start up something with him. The way he makes more money from it, I will send it to one of these normal schools. Don't buy your car, no. Hot car. Hot car, no! Imagine! Imagine! Huh? 
saying? What is it? What is it? Junior, Junior, mother don't laugh, Junior. Stop it there. Stop it there. Stop it there. Where, where, where? Where? Street. Where street? Hey! How long you was there? Actually, he sustained a major injury on his head. And as it is now, we don't know the extent of damage to the brain. Uh, however, we would need to run uh, some tests on him, run an X-ray, another test so we could really ascertain the level of uh, damage to the brain. Please, carry the X-ray. Can I with the X-ray, please? Yeah, yeah. Listen, my son. Okay. But madam, you have to make a deposit of 100,000 Naira to uh, with the cashier before we can commence. In treatment. Madam? Please. Mm. Hundred thousand. Yes. A deposit of hundred thousand naira. Please. The only money I have. 500 naira. Please. 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 Madam. Oh, please. Uh, madam, please. Whenever the money is ready, like I said, pay to the cashier. Please. Then we can commence treatment. You don't worry, see what you can do. I don't have any. Please help me, my son. Doctor! Doctor! Papa now. What is it? Eh? What is it? Papa, the elders have been waiting for you for over an hour now under the, uh, the orange tree. They've been waiting for me? Yes, Papa. And they asked you to come and call me? Yes, now, Papa, so that we can talk about this issue and, and uh, trash it out once and for all. And you really come here to call me? Are you mad? Uh, eh? Get out from here, you Papa, Papa. Get, get, get out! But this is not fair now. You, you, you are keeping the elders waiting. It's not right at all. Coco, tell them if I come out there and meet any of them there, I will bring my God and will shoot everybody, including you. Idiot! Do you want me to practice my military tactics on you? You've done that last week. Eh? You've done it. So give me my 2000 now. That is what I told you. Where is my 2000 now? Oh, 
Because of ordinary 2,000 Naira, you refused to sleep in your house last night. Eh? You think I don't know? Oh God, Tony. I can explain. You can explain what? What can you explain? Eh? You think I don't know? I came here three good times last night. You were not here. Eh? You had went outside and slept with a man because of money. I thought you said you are a, 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 a woman of God. Eh? That you cannot sleep with a man because of money. And what did you do? You slept with a man just today night because of money. You think I will not know? It shocked you. <laughs> hey. Jesus, help me. Oh God, Tony. My little boy had an accident yesterday. And, and what? And what? See, see, I'm not here to, to, to hear your stories. The worst part of it eh, is that you are lying to me. And I don't like when you lie to me. Eh? I don't like it. So you, you think I would not know that you slept with a man last night? Ha! Oh. <sighs> I'm waiting for my 2000 now. Give it to me and let me leave here. I don't have patience again. <laughs> okay. Tony, please. Mm -hmm. Let me go inside. I bring one, one thousand naira. Let me give you one thousand naira. I promise I will complete the money. I'll complete it sooner or later. I will, please. See, yeah, you don't want to about you. You don't have respect for me. Look at me very well. You are talking about one thousand naira. You actually slept with a man last night because of 1,000 naira. And I asked you to give me a full oppo for 2,000 naira and live in peace. You refuse. You refuse. Now you can beg me to, to take 1,000 naira. It's like you don't have respect. See, I'm not here for discussion. Eh? Just better leave this place. Jero! 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 You know, whenever I'm angry, I don't like it. And whenever I'm angry, you don't like it too. You know the right thing to do. Go inside. No, no, Take whatsoever that don't belong to this place. Now. Thank you. Will you allow me in? Please, 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 She's an agent sent by devil to shut my praise. I be your servant, oh, don't turn your back on me, oh. I'm debted to you. I be your servant, oh, don't let me remain in shame. I look up to you, Jingle. All 
Papa, she, she's innocent now. Why, why are you doing this now? Why are you being unreasonable? Will you shut up? Now, let me tell you. I have disowned you. You are no longer my daughter. Hey. Yes. Hey. I have disowned you. Now, please, please, please. Don't do this to me, please. I don't have any way to go to. I have no home. My husband has fought to my account. He took everything from me. Everything, please. Please don't do this to me. Consider my condition. Because I don't help me go. Because, okay, uh, let me leave, let me leave, let me leave my son with you. Not on your life, not on your life. Would you carry this bastard? It's not possible. Now, you should live here. Papa, please. Please, please, Papa. Would you keep quiet? Now, leave, leave. Enough of all this. I said, leave, Papa, leave, come, leave. Ah! Run, run, run. Ah! Idiot. No sense. Papa, 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 you, can, you cannot do this now. I can't say no, listen, stay away from what is all this now, Papa? I don't like this thing I don't like this thing I don't like this thing like 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 Look, if I hear pain from you again, I will call it this on you. Idiot! Can you imagine? I'm not the talk of the whole town. The church, the community. They say I'm a, I'm a father to a harlot. And yeah, yeah, you want to stay in my house. Idiot! Are you? Look, if you, if you continue to suffer, where are you? How are you? What's in What is it? I miss my sister. I miss my sister so much. I don't know how everything turned out to be gloomy in her life. This is not what I wanted for my family. It's all right. I heard that your father chased the elders and threatened to jail them if they continue to tell him about anti-trauma. It is not easy. It is not easy at all. Once my father says something, it is very difficult for him to go back on his word. It is only God that can unturn everything. I trust my sister. I believe her. I know that she did not sleep with any pastor, nor any other man, other than her husband. God, please help us. We are tired. So tired and frustrated. Obin, have you eaten something? I'm not hungry. No. You need to put something down to your stomach. You need to eat something, please. Amaka, I'm not hungry. Deception is real. Ajawani, Ajoka. From grace to grass. Beware of them. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Jesus. I do. Father God, Jesus, Lord. 
my heart is cold. My heart is cold. I'm weak. Oh, Jesus. I need grace. I need strength. Jesus. Oh, Father God. The terror has encamped me. I don't know what to do. I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you. Oh, God. Come to my aid. Come to my aid. Oh, God. The devil wants to take control. The devil is a liar. Oh, oh God. Save me. Come to my aid. Oh, Lord. I can't take it anymore. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm blessed. My heart is encamped. The terror has encountered my heart. I'm not even sure. I don't know what to do. Oh, God, Jesus, Jesus, I give my life to Jesus. <laughs> oh, my heart is weak. My God, my, my God, stay in his name. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on your son. Have mercy on your son. I need my heart to be. I can't take this. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Why are you not here to guide her? Why are you not here to guide her? I am totally disappointed. Totally disappointed. I will make sure I seize your license and you. I will send you back to school to correct this mistake. People like you dent the noble image of the medical profession in this country. How dare you? Both of you are in this mess. I'm sorry, I'm sorry doctor. I was attending to other patients in World 2. Shut up! You are attending to who? Nonsense! Can you see what has happened? I am disappointed in you! A life is lost here and you're telling me you are treating another person? Why did you cover him like this? You don't want him to see very well. Junior. Ju? Mommy is back. Oh? Ju? Uh, Madam, we did our best. <laughs> Your best in what? Nurses, can he people indulge me? I left my junior here breathing, healthy, and recovering. Why did you cover him? Oh, uh, uh, madam, we are sorry. About what?
please pull yourself together. Nothing is new in life. God gives and he takes. We did everything we could, but we lost the boy. I'm sorry, madam, we did our best. Thank God, 
Hallelujah. Jesus resurrected me. He said, my son, I'm giving you a second chance. Woo. And that's how I came back. Give your life to Christ. Because you see, eh, you may not have that same opportunity that I had. Maybe your own time now, you're just going to die. Don't wait for the day when you are sick and you are tired and you are homeless and you are useless before you say, oh God, help me. Do it now. Even if Jesus said, remember your thy God in your youth. Remember thy God in your youth. It's important. So give your life to Christ. Please, my sister, my brother, I know you are going somewhere. But if you can hear me, hear what? If you want to receive Christ right now, come. Don't be shy. I know we are by the road. Don't be shy. You cannot be shy about the things of God. Don't take it for granted that today you are breathing and you think that's all. Give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ, though. I'm not asking for any money, but if you think that you want to help, please, put hand for pocket. Do one for God. Sow a seed. Sow a seed. Jesus is Lord. Come to Jesus now. Tomorrow will be too late. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow may be too late. Hi, Jesus is coming. My water of crumble, my life is shattered. My water of crumble. Yes, now. You see my barrel? Uh, hey, now. I, I won't walk. I didn't find work. I beg. No problem. But, hey, you too fine for this work. You be like a like person who don't, don't chop money before. I beg. Please, I beg. Leave that side. Leave that side. I see people now, they find money. I they find money, go visit my family. In one month now, I must make enough money to go see my family. I beg. Take me now, no verse. Uh, no problem, no problem. We go register you. Okay. Eh? But the thing there, we say, you go pay 1,000 naira for registration, then every day you go to pay tickets. Huh? Any I... day where you no pay tickets, you no go work. Wait, wait, wait. I go to pay 1,000 every day? No, not be 1,000 every day. You go, first of all, use 1,000 register. Reg registration. Good. Then every day you go to pay tickets. Any day where you no pay, you no go work. You go see your battle. But when I know me now, try to know you again. Your face, they change the market. I bet your face don't do anything for work. Okay. Every day I go pay ticket. Check now, one thousand. I mean, uh, you hold the money here. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, give me, bring, bring, bring. I want that one thousand for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now. Ah, uh -uh. which kind of money can be this one now? Ah, uh, okay, this money here now. Change this money. You know what push for here? What are you saying now? One thousand is one thousand. Whether he tear, he never tear. One thousand now. Change this money. My Give guy, me. guy, guy, chairman, no verse. I beg. Now, now this money at the hold. Now one thousand I get. Come on, no. This one now. Now scam you. Carry come. You give me receipt, oh. I will give you receipt now. My receipt. Give me receipt. I beg. That's my receipt. No, there. I keep it for sure. What you have? You will come. I'll show you where you go to pack this bag. Okay. Now, now I bring my bag. Party. Good 
You are welcome to our home. Thank you so much, ma. Yes. What do I offer you? Um, Nothing, ma. I'm fine. I already told the uh, steward that I'm okay. Ma, my name is Tina. I was a partner with Pastor Israel Ubo before I left the country. I am here to see the senior pastor. I mean Pastor Duke Okoye of Grace and Glory International Church. You are at the right place. He's my husband. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you cannot see him at the moment, but you can leave a message with me if that is okay by you. All right, Ma. Um, Ma, I am really worried. I saw something some days ago that struck me to my spine. And that's why I'm here. Tell me, what could that be? Ma, please, I want to confirm. Where is Pastor Israel Obo? I mean the light-skinned pastor. My daughter, is a long story. But to make it short, I don't know. We checked. I personally went to his church to check. Just to find out that he turned the place to a hotel. A hotel? We were told that his wife took everything from him and eloped with his lover who happens to be a junior pastor in his church, sold all his properties. I was told they looked to somewhere in America, Dubai. I don't even know where they Oh my God, my dear. A lot happened to him and he fell out of it. I don't even know where he is right now. Ma. Do you know I saw Pastor Israel in a market pushing wheelbarrow as a means of survival? God forbid. I am sure you did not know who you saw. I know who I saw. I know him so well. I saw him. You saw Pastor Israel pushing wheelbarrow, you mean to say? Yes, ma. Yes, ma. I mean, I, I would have recorded him, but it didn't occur to me early enough. I, I saw him. Pastor Israel Obon, a profound man of God that is so famous. Please, my dear, where did you say you saw him? Ma, I saw him in the market, in a market pushing wheelbarrow. I, I'm not lying. My girlfriend was with me when I saw him. God. Soften the hearts of these people. I 
especially your father. Jesus. Amen. Let your father forgive me. Let the spirit of forgiveness reign. Oh God, have mercy on me. Pray God as I go. You will lead the way. Go before me. Oh, your word says there is nothing impossible. Everything is possible by you. The busco. Ba 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 busco. Jesus. Oh, Father. I need grace. I need grace. I need grace. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Amen. just returned from a program and I have service tomorrow morning to conduct. I beg of you, please. Why do you have an unforgiving spirit and still act like it is normal? You climb the pulpit, preach the gospel to your congregation. I did not say I have not forgiven whoever that offended me in the past, present and now. But God has not spoken to me about Pastor Israel's case. My husband, he is our son. You brought him into the ministry. You nurtured him and watched him grow. And that makes you his father. You need to bring him back. He robbed my name and reputation in the mud. Divorce his God-fearing wife. I hope you are listening. He refused to heed to my word as a father. I am trying so hard to understand the new you. I have listened and watched you preach over the years. Listen to you cancel people. You also preach about unforgiveness. And what about the prodigal son? Don't tell me about the prodigal son woman. Look, if he likes, let him push moto. Or turn to Alboro in the park. Whatsoever a man sow, he will reap. I told him all this. As if you did not kneel down and beg him to. My husband. I am worried about his faith. <laughs> you need to bring him back. Please. I don't know how else to make you understand, but please, you just need to bring him back. You need to find a place in your heart to forgive him as a Christian. Frank, what are you saying? Make it make sense. I don't understand you. What do you mean you want to bring in a breastfeeding mother into our home? A patient? Doris. 
There is that woman has no one. No one anywhere. Her story is very pathetic and overwhelming. Yeah. She lost her son in my hospital. And as we speak, she has nowhere to call home. Nowhere to go to. Please. There is a grave indulgence. Please, let's let's lend a hand. Let's accommodate her. Please. No. Frank, I said no. Eh? What about, what about her family? I mean her husband, her relatives, her, her cousins, her friends, anybody. Eh? Why, why do you have to be like this? Why are you so emotional towards these people and their problems? Are you the only one she knows? Are you? We are not taking anybody in. This is my matrimonial home, not a charitable home or anything like that. What is wrong with you, Frank? Eh? Come on! In a country like this where it's not safe, anybody can do anything to harm anybody or bring somebody here. Nobody's coming here and it's final. What rubbish is that? Lord, have mercy. Wait, Antido, you mean that my brother, your husband, wants to bring a breastfeeding mother into this house? Your matrimonial home? Auntie. You won't get it. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I've already said my own, and what I've said is final. Nobody is going to enter my house. Nobody is going to come to my husband's house and stay. Eh? What, what, what is it now? Who, who knows if she's a witch? Hmm? Uh -huh. Or she has committed a serious crime? Know what, Nobody what? knows. Eh? This country that is not even safe. If somebody wants to come here, all in the name of she's homeless and has nowhere to go. Nobody's coming to my husband's house, so nobody. <laughs> me, me, I don't support that kind of help. Mm -hmm. eh? Okay, if she comes here now, what, what will she be doing? Mm -hmm. eh? What about her people? What does, what does the family? Ask me. Ask me. Your brother was saying she has no brother, she has no sister, mm. she has no mother, she mm. has no father. Only my husband that she has. Mm. Eh? My husband is who she has. No, no, she fell from heaven. Mana. Anna Johnson, she fell from heaven. Well, me, I don't know, auntie. I want to go and sleep. I'm very tired. Hola, hola, hola. Chris, I don't understand you. I am telling you that your brother wants to bring another woman to this house. You say you want to go and sleep. Mm -mm. I will not sleep because my brother wants to bring another woman. I will slept. I'm vamoosed. Chris. Chris. Chris, this is what you are saying. Chris, this is what you are saying. I thought you were on my side, eh, Chris? Nobody's going to come to this house. No woman is coming here. I will not allow anybody to come here. Eh? Frank! Who allowed you into my house? What are you doing here? Papa, I beg you. I just have one favor. I'm asking you for just one favor. Can you go with me to my wife's village? I want to go and beg them. And I will never bother you again. I will never bung you again. Please. I will just disappear. I beg you. Get out. I said, leave this moment. I'm so sorry, please. Elijah! <laughs> Elijah! Papa. Papa, please. Where is this boy? Elijah! I just want you to do this. Elijah! Papa, please. Oh, God. You know, when you know, oh, Pastor Israel! Elijah! Elijah! Where's Pastor Israel? Ma, he don't come out like say meat ghost. Open the gate. I saw open the gate! Okay, ma. Save me, restore my life. I have seen. Forgive me. Forgive me. Save me. Restore my life. I'll be your servant. Don't turn your back on me. I'm debted to you. I be your servant, oh, don't let me remain in shame. I look up to you. The woman 
when I marry, I go home my own. Has taken away my glory. I never know she's a legend sent by devil to shut my praise. I be your servant, oh, don't turn your back on me, yo. Oh. I'm debted to you. I be your servant, oh, don't let me remain in shame. I look up to you. Lord help me, help me, save me, restore my life. Rock my rage, has ruled my life. Oh Lord help me, help me, save me, save me, restore my life. Rock my rage, has ruled my life. Oh Lord help me, help me, save me, restore my life. Where, where did he go to? Where did he go to? Me, please direct me. Direct me, Spirit of the Living God. Afternoon. I beg you see any fair man where in her day coil, where get small face, where pass here now. I just come outside now. Nah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jesus, Jesus. Oh. Pastor Israel, please now, where did you go to? Where did you go to? I beg I look for one uh one fair man where carry uh, where you had they call wait no too tall you see how we pass thank you sir thank you Kid that young man. What is wrong? Why did you stop me? Why did you stop me? 
I should have killed him and died the consequences. Just imagine. He made me disown my own daughter, my only daughter. Telling me lies. Oh, God. Obin, what happened? Uncle, he said my sister is innocent of all the allegations. Hey, Hello. Yes, eh? You see? Innocent. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? My daughter is innocent. Innocent. Where is German? Ah, where can we find our daughter? Obin, we need to go to the city and look for Choma. Okonkwo, you see, when I was talking to you, you refused to listen. You disowned your only daughter. You told her all sorts of things. You disowned her. Hey! What area? What area? This girl has suffered. Okonkwo. Okonkwo. Just pray that nothing happens to that girl. Oh my God. Oh my God, to my own daughter. My only daughter. Oh God. Oh. Yes. You will stay here henceforth. This is your room. Thank you so much, Doctor. I really appreciate. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll later would we'll discuss on how to get you a job in my hospital. Perhaps an auxiliary one that could keep you busy as you do something. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. Uh, although I still have one bag of corn yet to sell. Uh, I don't know if you'd give me time to sell it off, then resume work on that, you, sir. It's okay. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Take your time. Hmm? Take your time. Thank you, sir. You're a good man. God will bless you. Bless you too. Um, once again, I am very sorry from the depth of my heart over your loss. Hmm? Accept my heartfelt condolence. It's okay. It's okay. What has happened has happened. And I believe God knows best. We can't question Him. It's okay, it's okay. In case you, you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay? Okay, Doctor. No, it's all right. I'll, I'll be on my way now. Make yourself comfortable. The baby as well. Make the baby comfortable. Mm -hmm. hmm? Let me go back to the hospital and uh, take care of other duties. Thank you, Doctor. It's okay. It's okay. All right. I beg to take my leave. Take good care of yourself. Baby. Bye bye. <laughs> it's all right. Excuse me.
come for me. They come. <laughs> The sister needs a brother like you. Please wake up. <laughs> yeah, brother, I thought you and Auntie Dor have talked about this and you refused. <sighs> yeah, Christian, my brother, we, we talked about it. Well, you see, I don't have any other option. When that lady told me her pathetic story, I had compassion to help before she falls into the wrong hand. Wrong hand? Wrong hand? How? What about her people? No family. No people. No one. You see, that lady was disowned by her father, divorced by her husband, hmm. lost her son, ejected from her house. Christian, one name. If I tell you the whole story she told me, you'll cry for her. You see, the most painful situation for me is that she lost her son in my hospital. Mm. Yes. A careless and idiotic staff of mine gambled with her son's life. Can you imagine that? Hi. Like, seriously. You, you see why we need to help her. You see why we need to show her love. Kindness. And maximum protection till she finds her feet again. That lady has gone through too much. Too, too many things. I mean, she's in a perilous time. And we must, for the sake of humanity, show her love, compassion and support. Well, Oda. Me, I don't have any issue. No issues at all. Just that I don't think that your wife, Auntie Do, would accept the idea. I don't know. For me, no problems. Women. I know, of course, you want to have her reservations, but I'll handle it. Hmm? I'll handle it. I'll handle it. It's not, it's not an issue. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. I'm tired. I want to go and sleep. It's night already. Cheer, Jigo. Good night. It's alright, Christian. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
cause for this gathering. Of all of us, because it's very important to me. And I needed all of us to be here at this point in time. Before I say what I have to say. And I'm glad you showed up. I want to thank you for coming. It's very important to me, but it's quite simple. I want a divorce. Yes. Babe! May the Lord forbid. Yes. May he forbid. Yes. Pastor Israel, what has gone wrong? Why would you even think of such? You are a pastor. I, I, I'm, I'm very sure you know what the Bible says about divorce. Not to think of divorcing your faithful wife. Faith. That's the word I was waiting for. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. And I'm glad you brought it up. Because Angela here is nothing but unfaithful. God forbid. Jesus. She is a demon. Hey, young man, watch your tongue. It's my daughter you're talking about. <sighs> and if I don't, what would you do? Babe, that is my father you are talking to like that. And I don't know he's your father. Wait. Is this why you've been acting strangely towards me? Why are you doing this? If, if there was something wrong, you, you could have discussed it personally with me. Why this embarrassment? Why this meeting? If I want a divorce, I will do it the way I want to do it. Not on your terms. If I had informed you earlier on, you would have involved Papa Gio and his wife. And I don't want that. I want it on my terms. This is what I wanted. And this is how I want to disclose it. Don't tell me what to do. Stop it! Stop this madness. I bind and I cast out that spirit of arrogance. Amen, Jesus. Yes, Amen. you're willing to quickly cast out the demons and bind the demons from me when Angela here is the adulterous one. Hey, what are you saying? Hey, young man. I warned you before. One more derogatory word on my daughter, then I will show you where they call me, Okonkwo. Did you hear me? Don't ask me to calm down. Calm down, my brother. Let us understand the situation very well. Hmm. Our in-law, I hope you really understand the word that you uttered. Oh, yes. I understood the word. I used the word. I understood the word. And I know exactly what I am saying. Well, it would interest you to know that people have been calling me, texting me about her behavior. When she leaves this house and she goes out there, she knows what she does. She's been going to hotels. Jesus. With different men. A pastor at that. A pastor that I don't know. Jesus! Deny it! That devil is a liar! Lies! Deny it! Lies! Lies! Is you why are you lying against me? You know very well that you are the only man I have known all my life. Oh, you took my pride! Why are you lying against me? Papa is lying. lying. How can they? Pastor's wife like me be living an adulterous life. That's the question you should be answering. That's the question you should be answering. Papa, Answer the question. But he's lying against me. No, I'm not lying. You know the way you raised me. You know I can never do a thing like that. Why are you doing this? Do you have proof? Can you prove it? Can you prove it? That you've not been doing what I say you're doing? Well, I have proof. Oh, I 
I have proof. I can tell you I conducted a secret investigation with my doctor to find out the, the DNA of the child. And guess what? Do I need to spell it out? The child is not mine. Jesus. Blood of Jesus. The child is not mine. What more can I say? Angela is cheating on me. Jesus. And has been cheating on me. My goodness. I... <sighs> Pastor Israel. I shall continue to pray for you. I can see that the devil is trying to use you, not just to destroy you, but your total existence. Now, read my lips. Angela here is not going anywhere. I repeat, she is not leaving this house. Hey. Papa OG, this is my house. Hey. This is my house, and I decide hey. who stays in my house. Angela leaves my house today and now. Hey. Follow him, and you can take that bastard child of yours. Now this is it. Is it. My son. This is it. I can't take this nonsense from you anymore. Now let me warn you. If I carry out an independent test and I discover that you are lying, I will show you where they call me a conqueror. They will be I will tell you where I'm a, a retired military officer. Make my word. I am a conqueror. It's all right. You can conduct the test. It's fine. Pastor Israel, or what do you call yourself? <laughs> do not ever think that we are unwise and uneducated. Just wait for us. <laughs> Let's see. If anything happens to our pregnant daughter, you are going to see a bigger mass spread on a broad daylight. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are you still here? Israel. Please, please. We can talk about this. You are leaving. Israel. You're, you're leaving today. You can actually discuss what, what, whatever it is. Babe, babe, you can't be serious. Please just tell me that you're joking. Tell me you're joking. Okay. Something tells me that Choma is innocent. Innocent? Innocent you say? Which kind of innocence are you talking about? My own doctor confirmed it. And you're telling me she's innocent? Huh? God damn. So, this is what she has been doing in her husband's house. Her lot all over the place. Oh God. What is this? <laughs> okay. I am still surprised. Choma, our daughter, was never a wayward girl. We brought her up in a decent manner. What really went wrong? Okay. I think something went wrong somewhere. Hmm? No. no. We have to invite her for a serious meeting. Which meeting are you talking about? No, no, no. Which meeting are you talking about? In my house? Huh? I don't even want to set my eyes on her again, not to talk of meeting. Oh, come, come. Yes, I have disowned her. If I see her at age near me, oh God, God bear me witness. The heavens bear me witness. She is no longer my daughter. All right. You can't be talking out of anger. A father does not reject his own child. I have rejected this you. One. I have. Okonkwo, you I said not. I have. I have. You don't know me again. I'm a liberation man. Okay. I'm a disciplined man. Okay. Stop interjecting me. What is it? Mark my word. I will kill her. I will kill her. Let your come close to me. I will kill you also. You don't know me. I'm a military man. Well trained. Anybody who comes to it has sick. On our behalf, I will kill the person. It's yours. Me, a military man. My daughter is hollow. No way. This, this, this gone. This is gone. Chopper. Chopper. My only daughter. So you are innocent after all. 
and stupidly disowned you. God, what have I done? What have I done to my only daughter? Hey, Israel, it shall never be well with you. My gates, ma. He went to buy something. They asked you to look after the gates. You must be Dr. Fran's wife. Who are you and what are you in my company? My name is Angela. My native name is Choma. I don't care about your native. Wait, wait a minute. Are you the woman my husband spoke to me about? Perhaps. You are living with us? Yes, ma. I stay at the boys' quarter. What? No way. It's not going to happen. Frank! Frank! What? Friend! Ah! 
stories, that lady needs help. She's homeless in the circumstance. Her child died in my hospital. She doesn't have anywhere to go to. And from information gathered, she stays in an uncompleted building, exposed to cold, unhealthy atmosphere, hazards. Come on. Darius, that woman is a breastfeeding mother. I don't care. Frank, I do not care. I am also going to be a breastfeeding mother too. Yes, I am two months and two weeks pregnant. My, oh my. And you didn't tell me all this while? God has finally remembered us. He has remembered us. He has remembered us, but that is not the topic of the day. At all. Why would you disregard my opinion and bring in a total stranger into our home without my consent? Eh? Why? Doris. Doris. That woman needs help. I mean, put yourself in her shoes. That lady is going through perilous times, perilous moments. Please, try to be reasonable here. I do not want to be reasonable. Read my lips. Frank, I do not want to be reasonable. That woman has to go back into that BQ, pack her things, and leave this house this minute. I, I don't even understand. Who knows if you're even lying? Who knows if her baby is yours? Yes, everything is possible. That woman will not stay in this house. Not today, not ever. She has to leave. Doris, I beg your pardon. You still realize I'm the man of the house? You still bear my name, Doris Frank, and not the other way around? Please, watch your lips. Watch what you say. I'm still in charge. I'm still in charge. I don't understand what you're saying. Are you picking her side over mine? Frank, I don't understand what is going on. Am I not your wife? Eh? Why are you choosing her over me? So she's now more important, Abby. She is now more important than me in my own house. Frank. Frank, she will not stay in this house. She is not going to stay in this house and I will make sure of it. Hm. What did she say? I'm sorry to inconvenience you. I only seek accommodation, and your your husband decided to assist me. Really? I perceive lies and evil mission in your voice. Yes. Where is your baby? She's sleeping, ma. Go and bring her. Go and bring her immediately. Okay, ma. I can't trust men. No, 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 no. If she brings her baby and I find out that she looks like my husband, <laughs> I will set this woman and her baby on fire. I will burn them down. Imagine. Eh? Her boring who? Come quickly! Let me see your baby. I want to see your baby. What is it, my any problem? Angela, if by adventure I find out you're trying to play a smart one on me, if I find out that this baby belongs to my husband, I will butcher both of you. I will kill both of you! Oh, she's my daughter. She's not your husband's child, though. Better, better be your daughter. Rubbish. Nonsense. Hey! Oh, no. 
God, why, why, why now? Why, why are you doing this to me? Why? <laughs> the only problem I have. This is all I have. <laughs> God, you have pity on me, so I don't have any more, but have pity on me, I think now. <laughs> my last word is, I will not see my family now. What? Can you have pity on me? Can you have pity? I'm here for you. I... I don't understand. <laughs> okay, let me make you to understand. See, eh? from the first day you came into this house, I've been admiring you. You're a beautiful woman. Eh? Please, eh? I, I want to ask you if you can be giving me what you give to my elder brother. You understand? I, I, will, I will enjoy it too. I, I don't understand. You're making me very uncomfortable, Mr. Chris. Okay, let me make you understand. Let me just hit the hammer on the head. See, I like you. You're a beautiful woman. Eh? I want to be sleeping with you. Uncle, do you? Uncle, see, even my brother's wife will not be away. My brother will not be away. You understand? I can come in the night, then early morning, I, I zoom off. Uncle, me and you. See, I will protect you. See, my, my brother's wife, she has a lot of wala, but I will protect you. Lord have mercy. You want to be sleeping with me? Sleeping with you is an understatement. I want to be sleeping into you. Sleeping inside you, as an in-between you. Eh? See, as, as you tie a rapper like this, my body has... Just imagine you lose this rapper, what I will see. Eh? Please. I will enjoy it. Eh? Please leave my room. You said? I said I rebuke you, Satan. Leave my room before I go to your elder brother and report you. Now leave. Me, Satan. In my brother's house. Me, associate CEO of this house. Leave your room. Let me see how you survive in this house if you don't give me this thing. You Satan. I cast the devil in you. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Please leave. You cast me. Leave. Cast and crew. Don't worry. Holy Spirit. Just imagine the way he barged into this room. Let me lock this door. Usman, Usman, is it you that gave me the name? Did you give me the name? Oh, am I owe you money? Baby, sorry, sorry. Chloe. Sorry. Who asked you to carry that baby? So, who asked you to me? carry this baby? This baby, is, is, is it the guy that is, is your mind? 
Eh? You are asking me who asked me to carry baby as if you have given birth to a baby before. You, you, don't, you have not given birth to a baby, so you don't even know anything for the baby. You, you that has given a birth to baby. Why is the baby crying while you are carrying carry her? Wait, wait. You think I am you that you enter any sketch you see, black shorts, anyone, even a mad person on the road, you do. See, I know what you want to do in this house. I know it's my baby that you want to do jiggy jiggy with. Let me tell you, wallahi, wallahi. If you do any high in this house, I'll tell Oga. Go be shit. They carry baby. Anybody where you see, you carry him. It's not your business. Carry cup of her. Uh, it's not yes, your business. You're carrying her and she's crying. Uh, leave her for me. At least you don't even know what is called baby. You don't even have, you don't have sympathy for baby. Coward. Baby, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. Wait. Yeah, you man, it's okay. It's okay, baby. <laughs> Husband, eh? You want to snatch my husband from me? I'm, I'm sorry. Let me go and change it, please. Come on, come back here, you fool! What are you even doing in my house by this time? I thought you roast corn for a living. What are you still doing here? I normally go to my shop by 10 in the morning. Eh? Now, before I open my eyes, go back to your dirty room and carry your dirty baby and leave my house! What nonsense! I'm sorry, I won't wear it again. So. Imagine! Come back here! Who are you leaving this thing for? Huh? Come on, carry it! What did you say happened to him? Uncle, I don't know. It was at midnight. I started hearing sound coming out from his room. I went to see. And I saw him rolling on the floor. Chai. What are we going to call this now? What is all this? What is happening? Obina. You have to continue taking care of him. Amen. Let me go and look for Mbadi where the healer. Because this is getting out of hand. Let's see what he can do for us. Hmm? Okay, okay. It's all right. Take care. Thank you. Man. I'm coming. Uh, hurry. Chai. Uh, Thank you. Uh, oh, Nothing will happen to you. You will be fine. I am sure you must be fine. Hey, hey my son. Have you heard about the uh, Joma? No, nine. You don't know her whereabouts? No, nine. Hey. Uh. hey. What are you going to do now? I'm planning to move to the city to go look for my elder sister. Do you know her ex-husband's house? The last time I went there, another occupant has taken over the house. It was sold. What about the man's church? Church? Church that was converted into a hotel and a clubhouse? God forbid. See, Amaka, I don't want to even talk about that. The only thing I'm thinking about right now is to see my elder sister and her children. I know the cause of my father's illness is because of the pastor's confession. Chimo, 
Yes. Oh. Oh, Bim. I know something was wrong. Something was definitely wrong. I could not believe it. I'm still in shock. I can't believe it. How can a pastor ruin his family and his loved ones just by lying against his wife? That man is a devil. And I promise you, I'm going to kill him. If not in this life, in the life after. I will definitely kill him. Indeed, that man is a devil. Hi! Obey. She don't need to worry. Do not stress yourself much. I'm here for you. Hmm? I'm here for you. <laughs> oh my God, you will not understand. Sorry, I understand. understand. I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you will not do it. All. It will not work. What is wrong with you? Eh? Why are you trying so effortlessly to start with fight over a complete stranger? Eh? Why? You know what? You're going to tell me that woman's mission in our house. And you better start talking now. Dorit. What's the matter with you? I mean, why are you, why are you doing all this? Don't tell me you drove all the way from the house to my office to come and yell at me. Hey, where's my lunch? There is no lunch for you. Huh? Frank, I did not bring any lunch for you. I came for you to tell me why you insist on that woman staying with us. Frank, why? But I've answered this question time without number. What else do you still want me to say? Tell me, what else do you want me to tell you? And you dare open your mouth to tell me that she'll be working in your hospital. Eh, Frank, why? Uh, Frank, don't push me, oh. Don't push me, I'm warning you now. Don't push me. You want to be my janitor? No, tell me. You want to be cleaning my office for me? You want to leave your business and begin to clean for me? Is that what you want? Frank, that woman has a business. She has a friggin' business. She sells corn on the road. Leave her, let her do her business. What is wrong with you? Frank. <laughs> Doris, I don't need this stress right now. I don't. I've overworked myself in. You know what? Let's go in. Check your body and know the level of your fetus. Frank, I am not following you anywhere. Yes, I'd rather go to your friend's hospital for him to check me than for you to lay your hands on me. Rubbish. You meet me in the house. You will. You're fighting a stranger, not me, your wife. You're fighting a stranger, Frank. You meet me at home. My word have crumbled My life is shattered What have I done To be destroyed In this way Hello. Please. I am not a beggar. I beg. Don't look at me as if I'm begging. You know? I don't mean to beg. I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. Israel, see my Bible. Please, sir. I am very hungry. I've been working since. I am hungry. I'm even sick. See my medicine. I'm actually. See my med medication. May I take them? I beg. I need money. If you can give me some small money. Let me buy food. Have mercy on me. I think I'm hungry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You say you're a pastor? Yes, I'm Pastor Israel. Uh, uh, pastors don't beg. Rather, you pray from, for manna to fall from heaven. And uh, we also pray for your healing. Yes, I've been praying now. <laughs> okay. People like say they look for people where you go use their money do ritual. Baby. No, see, I'm a see pastor now. See my Bible, see my medicine now. Die, die, and then you're dead. Pastor. 
Please now, I beg you now. God. I'll be your servant, don't turn your back on me, yo. I'm debted to you. I'll be your servant, don't let me remain in shame. I look up to you, Jingo. Oh Lord, help me, help me, save me, restore my life. Run my rage, has ruled my life. Oh Lord, help me, help me, save me, save me, restore my life. Run my rage, has ruled my life. Happened to your eye again. But I've told you now. I've told you I had an accident. You had an accident? Mm. What kind of accident? I don't understand. And how come the accident was targeted very close to your eye? Brother, something hit me. Brother, please, I don't I don't have strength to talk about. Just allow me to eat this food. Please. I don't have strength, Biko. Allow me to eat my own. I shall allow you to eat. You don't have strength. Continue to fight. Christian, continue to fight. One day they will open your brain. And I'll be very, very glad to give you a bed space in my hospital. Mm. Babe, babe, mm. have you noticed something? That since that woman came to our house, bad things have been happening to us. So. Terrible you. things have been happening. Hmm. Hmm? Look at today, I almost hit a woman on my way back home. And look at Chris's face. Eh? Look at. Have you ever heard that Chris was involved in a fight? Oh. My husband is. <coughs> Take, no. What do you want to water? Oh. Mm, sorry, sir. Mm. Is it that same bad luck? You are coughing. Mm -hmm. You see? There is always a day for a new character. And uh, your assertion has nothing to do with Angela. And I want to make this clear. There is nothing anyone would do to change my mind. I will help that girl. So get that into your head. Frank, I don't understand. What is that supposed to mean? What are you saying? That we're going to help that girl. We help that little girl. That woman. Let's help her. She really, help. really, Frank. Really. It's fine. Please, I want to pass. Excuse me. I want to pass. Sorry, ma'am. I now have pass. Let me eat that food. I'm getting very hungry. Don't touch that now. I now curse it. Do I even start it? Okay, let me. Let me finish. My dear, can you imagine? I would just be in my house like this, sharing my husband with another woman. Yes, so I have even tried to send her away from this house, but my husband keeps insisting she stays. My dear, I am tired. It's not getting funny anymore. Eh? Can you imagine what my husband told me today? That he wants that idiot to resume work in his office. My dear, the thing was making me boil. I was so angry. I feel like eating him raw. Babe, I have to be wise. 
I have to be wise. This girl cannot come and collect my husband in front of me. Eh? Yes. I am even planning on putting CCTV all over the house. I need to monitor her. I'm giving her close marking 247. Yes, now. Hey, babe. You know how hard it was for me to conceive. Five years in marriage. Now I am pregnant and one woman wants to come here and collect my husband. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, um, babe, let me call you back, eh? No, I'll call you tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you. I will not allow anybody to come and take my husband from the house. It's not possible. Frank. Frank. Frank! Frank, what is the meaning of this now? How will I be here and you leave me and go to bed? Don't we always cuddle? Do you not hold me before we sleep? What is this nonsense? <coughs> Frank! What? Leave me alone! If you don't want to hold me, you tell me. Is this how we used to hold ourselves? Eh? Frank, I don't understand you anymore. I don't understand you anymore. Eh? Since we brought this woman into our house, you don't hold me. You don't even make love to me. Nothing. What is happening? Doris. Doris, for God's sake, what is your problem? What is your problem? Why are you, why you, why you nagging? Why are you just being insensitive? I want her to leave our house. I want her to leave this night if possible. Uh -uh. Tell that woman leave our house. It's okay. I've heard you. I've heard you, Doris. Frank. Frank, what is the meaning of this? Oh. I am talking to you. I say you've heard me. Frank, what is this? I've heard you, Doris. Frank, you must hold me or you must hold me. You must hold me. Nobody will collect you from me. You hold me. You hold me. What have I done to us? Okay. Take a look. Why are you getting me so excited today? 
Take a proper look at the Lord's doing. Okay. Can you see what the Lord has done? Amen. <laughs> we thank God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Lord. We thank you for this pregnancy. Yes, Lord. We thank you for fertile womb. Yes, Lord. We thank you for fertility. Amen. God, wait all nine months, my wife will be healthy. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that this baby will be born healthy. Amen. This baby will grow up to your glory. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> God is good. All the time. Ah, this calls for celebration. Oh. <laughs> and as you know, I'm terrible at celebrating. <laughs> as the woman's leader in church, you are, you are always doing the celebration. I don't know what to do. I, I follow you. Lead the way. <laughs> I'm behind you. <laughs> So, this time around, you're going to give me a baby girl, right? No. I want another boy. Stop it. Stop it. Please. <laughs> we need a girl. We already have a boy. So, if we get a girl, eh, it's equal. And besides, we, we need a girl that can sing. Sing to the glory of God. A girl that can sing those high pitches like Sister Annabella. Mm. You know? Mm. Mm. That lady is gifted. She can sing. Oh my goodness. She's good. When she sings, everyone falls under the anointing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh! She's gifted. She's so good. God is using her I'm to save you. a lot of souls. He's using her. Mm. Well, well. But I still want a boy. Look, before you have thought, I have thought it. <laughs> it's a girl now. Is it not the man that determines the sex of the baby? Says who? Says the scientist. Well, spiritually, I have seen my baby. <laughs> it's going to be a boy. Okay. We shall see. <laughs> I have prayed. I am the pastor. <laughs> you are the pastor's wife. <laughs> Second in command. <laughs> we'll see you now. <laughs> the world has rejected me. They mock me. They say all manner of evil things against me. God. When will you forgive me my sins and take me back into your arms again? When will I set my eyes my on son. my family?
Lie down like this. Papa! 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 No, 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 this is not happening. Papa, please don't do this to me. Papa! Uncle! Uncle! Papa! Papa, please wake up. Please don't do this to me, Papa. Papa! What is it? Papa! Huh? Uncle! Uncle, my brother, he's not moving. Nah, my brother, Papa, he's not my moving. Is no. Papa is not moving. No, Papa is not moving. No, Uncle. He's not. He's not moving. He's not moving. Uncle, what? Uncle, what? Ochiha. Papa, Ochiha. Uncle, what? Uncle, what? Uncle, what? Okonkwa. Ochi Aya. Uncle, wake him up. Papa. Papa, please help me. Papa, please help me. Ewa, Tani, please. Papa, please. Hey. Papa, wake up. Fika, Papa, please. Papa, please. Papa, please. Papa, please. Papa, please. Papa. 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 What kind of cold is this? So, what kind of sudden cold is this? Even under this sun, so no. Please, why don't you go down to that chemist down there and get some drugs? I'm sure by the time you take the drugs, you'll be fine. You do. You do. Okay. 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 You ready? You'll be fine, yeah? You do. You do. You do. You do. You can see your mom is not fine. You do. You do. Well, let me take the phone. You do. Okay. Let me try and go and buy the medicine. Look after my, after my corn and my baby, oh. One bit more small, oh, yeah. Ndo, 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 ndo. You can see your mom is not feeling fine. Ndo, ndo, nah. Ndo, 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 yeah. Okay, my friend and my brother. The Kogu, the lion himself, is dead. Oh, that, that, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Let's check our corn. Our corn is burning. Mommy is coming, yeah? Let me find you. Mommy is coming, yeah? She wants to get some drugs. Do you want corn? You want corn? Do you want corn? Do you want corn? No sweet corn here. It's very fresh. Madam. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, welcome, home. Thank you. Uh, I better go. 
Hey, madam, I beg you. Oh. I'm not a beggar. But I'm Robert's attack me and took my last money. And I'm very hungry. Please, if you could just give me one coin. God will bless you. Even if if not half, I go, I go hold up. Please. I'm very hungry. Oh God, sorry, oh. Eh? Sorry, sorry for the money you are. The arm drop I take away from you. Eh, you can come and sit down. Yeah? Happy? Yes. Come and sit down. I will give you one. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Thank you, madam. Thank you. God bless you. It's God okay. You. It's okay for you. Hey, sorry. Hey, you be a eh? Oh, God. Do. The business is not mine, but I will pay for the call. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. God will bless you in a hundredfold. You will be blessed. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Okay, this one is a customer call. You have to wait. Let me roast this one here. Oh, voila. I can wait. I'm not going anywhere now. Okay. Oh, baby, baby, it's okay now. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Can I find it for you? Let me find it for you. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Hey. Uh, so all this one is for me. Yes, yes. If you give me half, I will take a bowl. So no problem, you can't eat. Okay. Madam, thank you. What are you doing here? Angel, what, are you doing here? what 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 are you doing here? It's okay. 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 My word have crumbled My life is shattered What have I done to be spoken to you concerning Pastor Israel? Not yet, woman. My husband, you know with deep down you that what you are doing is not right. You are a shepherd for crying out loud. You have to go out there, look for that one lost sheep and throw it back to his rest. That is the only way you can move on and have peace. That is the only way. God knows I will always go out for any of my lost sheep. Not about the rascal that you are talking about. Now listen, let me be a bad pastor. A hypocrite. Yes. Now let me ask you. Have you asked yourself the whereabouts of Angela and her children? Have you asked about the woman we all went to the village and married for that rascal that called himself a pastor? Continue to think about him. Why I worry about Angela and her children? 
And you call yourself a person. I know you're not even at peace with your conscience. You are pretending like you are happy. I know you were not. Oh Lord, have mercy. I don't even know what to do. I'm so helpless. <laughs> Jesus, please save my family. My dear, he was here last month. It wasn't a good tell at all. Before he could say anything, my husband walked him out of the house. He was a shadow of himself. But, um, was he able to tell you anything? I mean, where he lives or drop a contact? Did you get anything from him, please? Not at all. My husband is still very bitter with him. He could not even allow him to speak. But you know what? I have been looking for him. And I'm also asking that we should not relent in looking for him. We won't. Even though the DNA shows that you are not the father of a child, the Holy Spirit keeps telling me that your wife is innocent. I don't know why you did not come to me first and talk to me as father and son. You decided to take everyone on our way. I made a post on Pastor's Forum that you are no longer with your wife, Angela. Pastor Israel, you went too far. You degraded us as a family. Yes, you did. We cannot tell you what to do. But for the fact that we went with you to Angela's family to marry Angela, you should have spoken to us. You should have come to me in particular to tell me your findings, the things you heard about Angela before going the way you went about it. That was wrong. There's a way we handle such a situation as a body of Christ, especially the pastors that pastor churches. I beg of you, please allow the church, the Association of Pentecostal Pastors, to dwell on this matter. Please. Are you done? Are both of you done with what you're saying? <clears throat> well, I don't think I'm going to come to this house again. This will probably be my very last day to step foot in here. As it is, I don't need anyone to reshape what I'm thinking, to reorient my mind, because my mind is made up. I simply came to tell you that I am going to get married to somebody else, to another lady. Yes, I'm a pastor. I cannot remain single. A profound pastor at that. So you cannot change my mind. Whatever I say and that I'm saying now, it's final. I saw it should. You can see your father moving down. That's why I said Jesus. I saw it should. 
just look at your father's face and see your father kneels down for you. I beg of you, do not humiliate me. Please don't embarrass me. Allow me to pray over this. Please do not divorce your wife, Angela. I beg you in the name of the Most High God. Pastor Israel, our names will be in the mud. The association will blame us for everything, for not being able to handle this issue. Please, can you allow us to look into this matter and settle it amicably? Please, just give us a little time to fix this. Don't take it. Don't, don't go this way you're about to go. Please. Look, I think uh, my time here is done. Okay? What? Pastor Israel. Both of you can continue kneeling down. I'm out of here. Pastor Israel. You are leaving us? No, 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 no. I won't get up. Get up. Please get up. Get up. As to Israel, the Holy Spirit is against what you are about to do. You are going astray. I will be punished by God for God's sake. I will be blamed for it. Why are you this carnal in a perilous moment? Now, can't you go to God and ask him for divine direction? Can you imagine? You are rushing to inject your own flesh and blood. This lady is presenting herself in the realm of the supernatural as pure innocent. Pastor Israel, why are you blindfolded? Please meet my wife to be, my fiance, Annabelle. Good evening, Papa. Lord of Jesus. This is a chorister in your church, a gospel singer. Sister Annabella here is my daughter as well. I'm glad you know her that well because the Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, this is going to be my wife. That this is the true love I need in my life. That she should be by my side. So from today, I don't want to hear any word from you about my ex. Do not lie against the Holy Spirit. Um, because you will dearly regret it. Honey, am I interrupting anything? I think I should... Stay there, stay there. Okay. Uh, uh, Papa, in the absence of anything else, I guess this conversation is over. Please. You are asking me to leave your office? What are you still waiting for? I see a gallow. And inside the gallow is a big serpent. The gallow is desperately want to destroy you. That gallow will destroy you. Because you don't see more than I see. You don't prophesy more than I prophesy. You don't heal the sick like I do. The spirit is not speaking to you like it speaks to me. So what are you talking about, Papa? What? I will be praying for you. No, don't pray for me. <laughs> don't pray for me. Pray for you and your church members. Because your church needs to grow. I have already risen. My church is huge. God speaks to me. Don't add me to your prayer points. I don't need it. See you soon. Oh, please leave my office now. Baby! Stay out of this. You are going to be short of grace. Can you just leave? Pastor Israel, you are asking me out of your office? Yes, leave.
What nonsense! So wasn't it all you allowed the Papa, a man who ordained you into the ministry, to kneel down and beg you? What did you do? You walked out on them, he and his wife. You are jailed. You are jailed, Pastor Israel, please. It was the work of the devil. I need your help, please. The work of the devil. The devil has not started using you yet, Pastor Israel. If you were to be an ordinary church member, it would have been preferable. You suddenly remembered me? After turning your church into a clubhouse. Really? I didn't turn the church into a clubhouse. Somebody else did. I have been in coma for months. Pastor Matthews, please. I know I did wrong. Look, I almost died. If it wasn't for the grace of God that the angels actually brought me back and breathed life into me again, I would be standing here today. I just need a favor from you. I, I need help. See, see, see. Pastor Israel, you need to tell those angels that you need to die. You really need to die so that you rest well, okay? Because I. Pastor Lazarus Johnson, we never ever begged Papa on your behalf. We begged you. We begged you to have your own thing. What did you do? You turned your back on us. You bluntly turned your back on us. Pastor Israel, do you know what is good for you? Get out of this place before I call the police on you. Are you listening to me? Save me, 
rest of my life. I be your servant, oh, don't turn your back on me, oh. I'm debted to you. I be your servant, oh, don't let me remain in shame. I look up to you. The woman I marry, I call her my own. Has taken away my glory. I never know she's an agent sent by devil to shut my praise. I be your servant, oh, don't turn your back on me, yo. Oh. I'm debted to you. I be your servant, oh, don't let me remain in shame. I look up to you. Help me, help me, save me, rest of my life. Run my rage has ruled my life. Oh Lord, help me, help me, save me, rest of my life. What are you doing here? <laughs> Christian, what do you want? Just calm, calm down, please, calm down. Eh? See, I'm seeing everything. I know that. My brother's wife has been giving you a real tough time. Just calm down. See, I beg you. I keep pleading with you. Just give me this thing just once. Eh? Just give me just once. I promise you, I will protect you from her venom. Please. Eh? You see, that, that woman is me, you no. Know? And she's planning you. If you don't know, know it now. She's planning you. Leave my room. What's it? Chris, leave my room. I think it is high time I told your brother your incessant disrespect and madness. You're not even in any way close to my younger brother. Just a little boy like you because you meet me here and then you think you can, you can talk to me, come up to me to tell me to walk open my legs for you? A little riffraff? Chris, do you know who I am and my past? You are even in no way close to my domestic staff. You are nothing to them. Red is How dare you? Eh? Who are you? I want to know who you are. Who are you? Look at this foolish psychic. You dare raise your hand on me? Try it next time. Talk to me anyhow. Choose your words before you talk to me. I understand that this country is very wavy at this point in time and I do not want any of my domestic staff complaining of not having enough money to take care of themselves and their families. That being said, I would be increasing your salaries from 20,000 Naira to 50,000 Naira. It's a lie,
minutes ago. And his only son, Obina, went to the city to look for his elder sister, Joma. <laughs> so sorry. We are deeply sorry about the loss. We thought Angela is in the village. All efforts we made to get to her through the phone was not going through. And uh, she did not even show up in our house or even our church. Mm, I don't know. You know, my brother disowned her and threw her out of the house because of the accusation the husband leveled against her. False accusations? Yes. He lied against her. How did you people find out? A couple of months back. He came back a couple of months ago and he confessed that everything was lies. Jesus Christ. Was all lies. My Lord and my Savior. What? Yes. My brother out of depression, fell sick. And weeks later, he died out of stroke. This is serious. How did the devil took a chunk of Pastor Israel's flesh like this? How? He confessed. That was what my brother said. But... There was a medical evidence proving that Pastor Israel is not the owner of the pregnancy, which have proven beyond every reasonable doubt that he was saying the truth. <sighs> he even flooded the results in all our platform, stating the same thing. It's about two, three, or thereabouts of the same results. <sighs> even in our church, a doctor passed around the same test. It came out the same results. That Angela is carrying another man's child. But the question here is, how come he is confessing? I don't know. That was what my brother Okoko told me. And he asked me to tell Choma to forgive him. <sighs> I really don't think our in-law is in any way doing damage control. But the only person Jesus. who can give you true story about this is my late brother's son, Obina. But he's not around. Is calling me. Huh? My husband. My husband is calling you in my bedroom. And you came. It, it was Chris who said that, that Dr. Frank was calling me. So I. You are such a dirty liar. You are such a liar! No. Eh? So now you're using Chris to cover up. Eh? Christian is now your backup. No, 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 no lying, man. Okay, let me just go. Man. Come back here! Come back! Happening in my house. This is how this girl keeps sneaking in and out when I'm not around. Hey! Frank! Frank! This girl must leave this house today. She must leave this house today. <laughs> it's not possible. Eh? Wow! My husband is calling you. to go to now? Where would you stay? Nowhere. I don't have anywhere to go. I was planning to rent a small house. That was my plan. 
It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. Give me some days, let me shuffle something for you. So you could get yourself a conducive apartment. Forget anything my wife did to you, okay? It's a lie. It's a very big lie. Eh? You're not leaving this house. You're not leaving this house! Frank, so this is your plan. Eh? You want to give her money to go and look for a place to stay, eh? So you can be visiting her whenever you want. It's not going to work. You bought a bunch of liars and your plan will fail. Yes! You're not going anywhere. You're going to stay in this house where I can monitor you back to back. Doris. Doris, what is the problem? Huh. Hey, what is the problem? Please, give this young woman some peace of mind. She needs it. Mm -hmm. This woman was in our bedroom today. Looking for you. Why? Why was she looking for you? Sir, Christian came and called me. He said he needed me urgently in your room. And when I got there, you weren't there. That was when I realized he set me up. Christian, my brother? Big lies. Bunch of lies from the pit of hell. You are a big liar. Frank Christian has not been in the house since morning. So it's obvious that she's lying. Sir, please let me just go so that peace will reign in your house. Eh? Peace? Which peace? I don't want peace, oh. I want this war to reign. War will reign in this house. She, you have come to stay. You're not going anywhere. You're not going to leave this house. You want to get an apartment. I can be calling my husband on the phone. And you, you sneak out and go and see her. It's not possible. Eh? You are staying in this house. You're not leaving this house. You're going to remain here so I can monitor you again and again. You, Frank, come and meet me in the room. It is just the beginning. We have not started. Frank! Hey, hey! Are you sure this is what you want? Yes, sir. Just let me go. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, just calm down, okay? Calm down. Calm down. I'll fix it. I will fix it. Forget whatever my wife did to you, okay? I'll fix it. No, sir. Stay here. Let me go and come back. No, don't worry. Let me go. No. no. Angela, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> I am still the head of my house and not my wife. Calm down. Crystal. Did you by your mission tell Angela that I was calling her? <laughs> Brother, that girl is lying to you. Mm -hmm. She's lying, no? Oh. Ha. Oh, have you seen? Eh? <laughs> how will I how will I tell her that you were calling her? Eh? For what one? How? See, that, that, that girl is a pathetic liar. I'm telling you, brother. Have you heard it? Frank, have you heard it? I have been telling you. Why do you not want to believe me? Frank, I don't understand what you have with that woman. Or I don't understand what is going on. Same here. Uh-uh. What is this? Hmm. Frank! She's, she's lying. I know. I know. Eh? Home wrecker. She wants to come and destroy my house. <laughs> it's not possible. Oga is a lie. Oga will lie in a lie. Chris is a devil. It's a devil in this house. Will lie. That is how he used to do. Oga, last time will lie. I catch Chris. He was trying to climb my mom baby. In this house, will lie. Even when I catch him, will lie. Oga, if I tell you what I did to him, you will surprise. I give him better blow at his car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is Abuna. Will lie in a devil. What do you mean? Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Usman. Yoga. Were you the one that gave him that bruise on his face? Oga. It's me. Oga, it's me. Ama, what Chris is doing in this house is not normal. It's not normal. So I know it's your brother. Ama, I'm sorry, Oga. Oga, I'm sorry. Christian? Oh God, stop calling him Christian. One night is not a Christian. He's not even a Christian. That one is a pagan. He's a pagan. If that one is a Christian, well, he won't be doing what he's doing, Oga. Oga, immediately I, 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 I catch him that day with uh, trying to do that thing with uh, my mom baby. If I tell you, he gave me 10,000 naira that I should not tell anybody in this house. But Oga, you know you have been good to me. I cannot hide that kind of thing as a good person that I am. So I said, I must tell you. If I don't tell you, that means I have cheated you, Oga. That guy is not a, he's not a good person. He's not a Christian. It's a pagan. 
Okay. That one pagan. I can't call him Christian. If I call him Christian, it's a bad thing. Idiot in one like it. It's an idiot. Christian! It's an idiot! Christian! We can kill him one like he shake him. Please, Oga, don't, don't forget to kill that boy. For sure you have to stop. Christian! Sir? Christian! I give you 24 hours to pack your things and leave my house. So you wanted to rape a woman I kept in my house for safety? Why? What's wrong with you? Have you gone mad? What is going on here? Auntie Dor? Brother? What is going on here? Me? I wanted to rape her. A breastfeeding mother. Eh? I didn't see all those girls that their breasts are still standing. Standardly, standardly. It can't be. Person where don't the breastfeed picking where the breast don't fall. What is going on here? I don't understand. Frank, I don't understand what is going on. Eh? Are you trying to change the topic or what? Is this what we are discussing now? Eh? So, Usman was responsible for the bruise on your face the day you tried to rape that doll. <laughs> Kristen, this was how you raped our sister's maid and you denied it. Are you under a spell? Eh, me, me? What's wrong with you? But I, I'm now a rapist. Sure. Eh? But, but I told you it was just an accident. And was, okay, now I know. So it has been Usman. Eh? Usman! Shut up! Shut up! Dare you? Hmm. How dare you? Hmm. First thing tomorrow morning, you're leaving my house. Pack your things and go back to the village where you belong. I am not your only brother. Chima is still there. Go and stay with Chima. Let him accommodate you. Accommodate your insolence. Accommodate your nonsense. Will I die for you? How can you be raping somebody I kept in my house? I, sh I, sh I should leave this house. Hey, uh, brother, I should leave this house. Of course. Leave him faith mission. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. L leave where? Leave my brother's house. My own brother's house. To, to where? Ha. Leave township. I support eh? you. You're not leaving this house. Ah. You're going to stay here. It is your brother's house. You're here. Hey, woman. I am still the head of this house. Whatever I say stands. You don't challenge my orders. You don't. And you. Pack your filthy things and leave my house. I don't want to see you again. I've tolerated enough of your, your, your nonsense. It's a lie, oh. It is a big lie. Chris is not going anywhere. He's not going to leave this house. He wants to chase your own flesh and blood. Your flesh and blood, eh, Frank? Because of a woman, a home wrecker, a husband snatcher. He's not possible. You're leaving this house. You're not going anywhere. Frank, you're not. Frank, I will stay in this house. Frank, she will leave this house. Yeah.
I don't know the man. You mean you don't know the former owner of this house? I don't know. I don't know if your girl can have any concrete um, information that I can use to locate my sister and her son. My Oga does not even know the man you are talking about. See, eh? everything was handled by one lawyer with one woman and one fair man like that. But not with your description. I don't think my Oga really knows the person you are talking about. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for the information you've given to me. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. We have to look for Angela and her children. I think you are correct. But I have done that already. I have sent Pastor Lazarus to do that. May God have mercy on us. We have also wronged her. How? We should have taken her in. But she left before we could reach her. You know about that now. I am sure she believes that we are in support of her husband. Because I, I, I'm very sure that wherever she is, she's not happy with us. How? But you know I've never been in support of her husband. She doesn't know that. We need to seek God's direction. And not to rely on Pastor Lazarus alone. Deception is real. Ajawani ajoka. From grace to grass. Beware of them. Wealth in sheep clothing. Deception is real, a jawani a joker, from grace to grass, beware of them, wealth in sheep clothing. Deception is real, a jawani a joker, from grace to grass, beware of them. What are you doing here? If you don't leave here, I am going to stab myself and end it all. Just get out! No, please don't do that. I said you should leave. Please don't do that. Just, just leave. Me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did you wrong. I was wrong. I said against you. I said against God. I said against everybody. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Sorry. Of my son and my uncle and my uncle, please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Junior, as your son, a son you abandoned. I was stupid. Break it down for him. Junior. He's no more. <laughs> no. No. No, don't say that. No, don't tell it's a lie. It's a lie. Don't say that. <laughs> Oh, my leg. 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 Oh,
Don't, don't touch me! Don't touch me. Don't tell me. Is that true? No, 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 no. Is that true? Son! Junior! I started hacking water in the busy market. Your son is for your son. Your son, your son, your son, he started hacking water so he could raise money for his school. He started hacking social water so he could help his poor mother. I saw Sari Hawking water. <laughs> and in the midst of that, he was being knocked down by a hit and run driver. <laughs> My son used to say, Mommy, I'm going to be a medical doctor. <laughs> Mommy, I'm going to be a doctor. Daddy. I'll be a doctor so that when you grow old, I'll treat you. What happened? That dream. That ambition. That desire was cut short. Off. Just because of you. Because of you. I know. I am. A billionaire pastor. Son, study hugging self said water in the busy my face. Because of you, Israel, because of you, my son, my son died. I saw study hugging water. Because of you, Israel. Because of you. Because of you. My back, my back. It's going to be Never forgive you, just leave me and go. Bro, you killed my son. <laughs> it's alright. My special guest, okay? maybe someone that knows how. <laughs> Just take care of yourself. Come on, go
compound. Diapers? Yes, diapers! I, I... You're stuttering. Angela, you're stuttering. I am asking you again. Why are your child's diapers littering my compound? Sorry, my yeah. You're asking me! You're asking me! This girl is disgusting! What rubbish is this? You're such a pig! Frank! 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 Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities. Study well, keep studying hard. You know that he wants you to be a pastor, right? No, 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 mommy. I don't want to be a pastor. I want to be a doctor. So when both of you are sick, I'll treat you. <laughs> you keep saying this, but daddy wants you to be a pastor. I want to be a doctor. Okay. Study hard in the meantime. I can't stand it. Oh, I can't stand it. Sacrifice is ready as of the gods. Baba, should we kill him? No! That's the last sacrifice. We still need the suckling baby.
again. So you are crying because Obina's line is off. No, yes, no. You don't understand that we spoke a few hours ago and, and he promised to call back up to now. His line is not connecting. Uh -huh. It may be because of a uh, network uh, failure or battery or what else. Okay, 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 now you wait, oh, wait, I have take it, take it. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's sweet off now, it's due to a battery, eh? Please stop crying, stop now crying. I pray, I pray, now you don't understand, you don't understand, I'm not comfortable, I'm not comfortable, my body is weak. My heart is beating, 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 beating. Need to listen to my heart. Though. Mary, is it because of your heart is beating, or because you are not connecting to him? Why are you crying? My, oh, my, my open line is not connecting. Mary, don't worry, <laughs> Obina will call you very soon. I'm very sure Obina is going to call you. He has stopped crying. No, I'm I'm not eating this morning. I'm not eating this morning because of my own vida. Is that the problem? <laughs> Nothing bad should happen to me. I because don't. I will just kill myself. I will just die here. I will ah. kill myself. I will kill myself. I will kill myself. <laughs> What's wrong? Tina, it is an emergency. Please, we need to go now. Emergency? Yes. Just give me a minute. Let's go, let's Bella. Go. Bella, what happened? What is he doing in that intensive unit? What happened to him? A site manager saw him in an uncompleted building, lying lifeless. So he brought him to my clinic. My goodness! Tina, he drank a poisonous substance. Oh, he wants to take his life. Why? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. But I've succeeded in neutralizing the poison in his system. You know, and uh, but the problem now is that it affected his kidney, his heart, and his lungs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Bella. Bella. See now, if anything happens to him now, just know that I did my best. Yes. Bella, no, no, please. You can't say this to me, okay? You, you, you can't. You can't say this to me. Yeah, I know. I know, you, I know you're doing your best. I know you've done your best, but you have to do more. Please, do more. Get more hands. Do. Please, help me. See, I've Thank succeeded you. in intercepting the poison and neutralizing, diffusing everything. Yeah. I've tried all I could right now. If you believe in any God, pray and pray hard. Yeah. That of my hands now is in God's hand. Oh my goodness, please, you have to, you need to help me, help me, okay, please, Bella, please. Okay, calm down, just calm down, okay? Hold on, let me call a colleague of mine. Okay, okay. Okay, come on, pick up. Hello? Yeah, Dr. Frank. Yes, it's Dr. Bella. Okay. Dr. Frank, please, there's an emergency right now. Yes, in my clinic. Please, can I have you now? Oh, that's great. Okay, okay I'll be waiting. Thank you. Is he coming? Yes, he's coming. Yes. Tina! Yes! I need you to calm down. Bella, I am calm. I got this. Now. Hey! hey! What is in my room? See what I found in my room? 
Angela's pants! Angela's pants! How did you know? Hmm. It's really Angela, Angela. Hey. Hey. You don't know? Chris, you know what? Angela and my brother have been doing it anymore. They have been chopping themselves. It's a lie. As my brother has been entering Angela's va uh, uh, vacuum. Hey! You don't know? Hey! Hey! Well, I'm, 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 I'm out of here. Chris! Chris, they've slept with my husband, though. They've slept with my husband, though. They've slept with my husband, though. Hey! Angela! Angela! Let me call my sister. Hey! Okay. Go get a pant of uh, blood ready. Okay. In an hour's time, the transfusion should be done. All right, I'll get to it in there. Doctor, yes. how is he now? He's he's stable now. At the moment, he's stable. I'm very sure after the blood uh, transfusion. He will be fine. Okay. So as you see, everything is under control. Okay, doctor. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh -huh. How are you? I'm not fine, Uga. Well, lie, Uga, I'm not fine. What Uga, how can I be fine? When if you see the way you uh, is it madam, the uh, the sister, the, uh, Uga Chris, if you see the way they do to my mom, baby, well, lie, you pity her. What did they, do? they were doing, this one was giving boom, this one was giving her boom, this one was giving her boom in this house, well, lie, my baby, I pity her, well, lie. This one, are you serious? Uga, well, lie, it and lie. Okay, that is not even all. Okay. Wallahi, my baby is not in this house. My baby is not in this house. In the middle of the night, they drop my baby out of this house. If you see her, come on, she don't have anybody in this in this world. Usman, I hope you're not cheating me. Okay, wallahi, so my lahi, I swear to God, wallahi. Doris! Lies, huh? Doris! 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 Doris!
What did you do to Angela and her baby? Eh? You're asking me about your side chick. You came back to ask me about your side chick, eh, Frank? Well, I threw her out of the house. Yes! Yes, I did! Frank, I thought you promised me that you'd be a faithful husband. I thought you said I would never cheat on you, eh, Frank? I have never done that. What was her pants doing in our bedroom? Yes! Eh? She thought I was coming back and that she forgot to wear her pants. Yes! You're talking about dash. Doris, you are talking balderdash. Let me warn you. If I go to my office and come back and I do not see Angela and her baby, bet you me I'll get to incarcerate it. And you? So what you do now is rape people in my house? You wanted to rape a breastfeeding mother? If not for blood, I'm Uogola. Listen, I will make sure you go to jail and you rot there. Nonsense! And you? I have said it. If I go, come back. And I don't see her. Excuse me. Frank, you pushed me because of that Frank. woman. You pushed me because of that woman. It's not going to happen. Chris, did I just hear your brother say that you attempted to rape that woman? Rape who? A, a, a breastfeeding my, uh, my mother. Amen. It's true. I, it's true. She girl. Me rape her. Wait, 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 wait. Chris. So what I was thinking that we were teaming up to get that woman out of this house, you had your eyes on her? Ah, huh, Chris? Teaming up, Wanky. Teaming up, Nekanyanku. Teaming up. Oh! So because she refused to open her legs for you, you went in there and planted those plantains in the bedroom? Me, plant? Is this planting season? How, how can I plant plants? Chris, you are wicked! You are wicked! Go on! Yeah, how can a wicked, oh, wicked, punishing. wicked, I mean, I mean, oh, I mean. Oh, so after sleeping with me, you dare attempt to rape a breastfeeding mother? You just said it, a breastfeeding, how would I do such a thing? Make her punish you, 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 Chris. How pathetic. You are so impossible, God, I feel so cheap right now. Sleeping with you, God? <laughs> oh, God, Chris, my wife. I mean, I mean, hey, yeah, I mean, wa wa Do you know what? Oh yes, I will open up. Yes, I will confess. I will tell everybody that you set an innocent woman up just because she refused to open her legs for you. Fool! Look at how you made me hit a breastfeeding mother. They can't punish you, idiot. You're a fool. They can't punish you. I was just rescuing you now. Postrating, postrating. I postrating in the uncle. Yeah, what don't girl, Susie? This girl will cast everything. Tire? No, tempo or nine. Tempo. It's not connecting. Oh, <clears throat> God protect him for me, oh, protect him for me, please. Eh? What kind of life is this? How? Why did you want to die? I mean, why? So I felt very useless. I didn't see the need to want to live. God forbid. You are my pastor. Okay? You prayed for me years back and everything began to pave way for me. 
I saw you in a market pushing wheel barrel and I, I, I didn't believe what I saw. I mean, what happened to you, Pastor Israel? What happened? It's a long story. It's a very long story. I have the whole day. Please, talk to me. It started with a friend of mine, a pastor friend of mine, Pastor David, when he convinced me that I should start my own ministry. Even though I knew I wasn't ready, even though I know the Lord hadn't spoken to me, I convinced my head pastor that the Holy Spirit told me to start my own ministry. He believed me. That's how, it's, that's how it's all started. And everything just. Ghana for a convention. I want you to take care of the house, mostly the church. Good. Good. I'm impressed with the testimonies that are coming in. The church is glad with what God is using you to do. I am so much impressed. And I will urge you to keep the fire burning so. Hmm? And especially the youth church that you are heading. Yes. There is so much instant miracle, healing, and testimony. Hmm? And favor too. Jeez. Especially when you preach. And I pray that the fire in you will keep burning to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. A wide number of youths gave their life to Christ last Sunday. Yes. Amen. I'm so impressed. And I will want you to continue that way. Amen. I want you to keep the fire burning. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll you sit here. I'll remember all I said. I will see what I will tell you. You see about what I've been telling you. I don't know why you don't want to listen to me. Don't you want to own your own church? Don't you want to have your own branches? How long do you intend to pastor these little churches for youths? Why can't Papa send you to other states where you can pastor other churches, those big churches? You are grace with the unction of the Holy Ghost. For how long do you want to be under Papa Gio? You, you, you need, you, you're the talk of the church. You have what no one has in this church. I think I have a suggestion. A wonderful suggestion at that. What is that? I want you to open your own branch. I want you to open your own church. Look, Pastor David, I do not have the power to do that. I just, I just cannot. Of course you have the power. What are you, you talking have, about? You have the charisma. You have the skill of communication. You have the energy. You have the love, the passion to talk to the people. You are graced. Do you know that people you prayed for, God richly blessed them. A whole lot of people in this church are where they are today because of your prayers. You can even heal the sick. People you prayed for. I, 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 the testimonies are so numerous to count. If you ask me, 
I will say that Papa Gio is suppressing your grace. You just have to take your stand. Take your stand in this level. Look, Pastor David, I don't want to be that holy rebel, okay? Besides, Papa Gio's heart is going to be broken. I mean, I, I cannot do it. It's not right. Pastor Israel, don't talk like this. See, let me tell you. I, Pastor David, I will follow you. And I know some other pastors in the church that are willing to serve under you. Let me tell you, I hear God as I hear myself. God is speaking through me. Let me tell you, there are big men of God and women in this ministry today that are willing to break out with you. Trust me. Just agree and take this bold step. You see God's miraculous work in your life and in your ministry. Please, I beg of you. Please listen to me. Allow him to settle you when the time is right. I, I would plead that you stay and grow stronger, wax stronger under him. Leave his church to build your ship and divine direction from the Holy Spirit. Not just me saying. Okay, look at it this way. I have served Papa Gio for six years. Six good years. Right? And God has helped me to set the oppressed free. I'm becoming popular. People are knowing me, appreciating my pastoral deeds. So I think it's the best time to leave. Have you heard about strike when it's hot? Yes. You strike when it's hot. And now that I'm popular and people are appreciating me, it's the best time to leave. I can train pastors. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm ordained. It's a lesson. I think we should see all of this as a lesson. Pastor David is there to help me train these lessons. So why not? I insist you still serve him more. This man has good plans for us. I even never heard him tell his wife that he wants to send us to London so he can head one of his churches over there. You don't? I do. Like I said, leaving his church to go open you should be a divine direction from the Holy Spirit. But who said I'm not divinely led right now? No. Do not get carried away with what God is using you to do in this church. I, I, I still feel and I know I am divine led. I'm not doing anything out of the flesh. Good night, baby. Think about it. I know what I am saying. Allow God to tell you when to leave. Don't just move on your own. Pastor David is right. I have to own my church and leave. My wife is trying to discourage me because they are of the same tribe. She wants me to continue to serve him till I die. No, I must leave. I must have my own church. 
I will not pastor any of his churches either, here or outside the country. No, I will not do it. I will not be his slave forever. Yes, God is using me to heal the sick and a lot more. I deserve to have my own church, not to pastor in a branch. You said you heard from the Lord that you want to open your own church, Pastor Israel. Yes, yes, Papa, I did. About three times, the Lord spoke to me and I'm convinced in my spirit that it was from the Lord. If I'm not even mistaken, I probably heard him four times and it was strong, convincing. And you think you can handle your own ministry? Yes. I mean, are you capable? Yes, of course, Papa, I'm, I'm capable. By the grace of God, it's going to work. And with my wife by my side, you know how industrious and prophetic she can be. It will work, please. However, I'm not going to relent ever to come and see you if there are any issues or advice I need now and again. You are my spiritual father and you will continue to be my spiritual father and mentor forever and ever. Anyway, is this you said you have from the Lord? Because I supposed to hear before you or even speak to me or my wife or any of the pastors. But who am I to say no when God said yes? I'm going to support you. I'm going to remain your father as far as you take me as your father. And I will continue to wish you well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so grateful. I am, oh, I'm elated. I'm absolutely appreciative. Thank you very much. And I'm not going to disappoint you. I'm going to get a big church and a huge one. And of course, I will invite you to do a couple of preaching at my church. Pastor David will announce your departure on Sunday. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Like you said, I'm your father. You are my son. Whatever you need, don't hesitate to come to me and mama here. Because we are ready for you. I will keep on praying for you supporting you and making sure that anything you do will prosper Amen. Amen. to the glory of god Amen. yes uh mama uh, we have to pray for him hmm? let us pray for him today hmm. it's been two years Pastor Israel opened this church. Influence of congregation is amazing. To God be the glory. Honestly, I'm happy for him. But he put a lot of members from our church with him. Even our best chorister, Sister Annabelle. And so many others are willing to go with you. Honey, my she will stay and stick with me. We are one in the body of Christ. Hmm. What I don't like is lifestyle. He lives an exotic and luxurious life spending and buying expensive cars. I have cautioned him. I have called him to order. But he seems to be controlled by worldly 
are frivolous things. That's my worry. The house they are staying in now, someone bought it for them. And also gave them a land. Well, I must say, the Lord is really working with him. Amen. But I'm worried. I will advise you call him again and ask him to trim down his ego is vivid. Everything is too obvious. His egocentric lifestyle uh -uh, is not good for a pastor. Okay, I will. Hmm? Okay, so so that 25 million, this is what I need you to do. Transfer 20 million into my personal account. And then the balance 5 million, you can put it in the church's account so that they can take care of all the logistics and all the maintenance. That is what you should do. Before I forget, somebody's gonna transfer 10 million into the church's account. And I need you to transfer that money, divert it into my personal account. I don't want any mix up. So please, if you didn't get me right, I can repeat myself. Okay, so yes, I am saying, out of the 25 million, put 20 million into my personal account, and then 5 million, into the church's account and then somebody by two o'clock today will pay 10 million will drop into the church's account divert that money put it in my personal account is that understood my dear accountant clear all right then okay god bless you hey my loving husband my sweet pastor, uh, uh, <laughs> my daddy G.O. <laughs> so you're just carrying sweet words, so you're just trying to mess with my head. Come on. That's what you're trying to do. <laughs> that reminds me, mm -hmm. you told me that we'll be traveling to South Africa for a crusade. Oh yeah, of course. Yes, we're going. We're going to okay. go and that, that crusade will last for about three days. Okay. But I've got a plan. I want us to make a stop in Dubai. I heard you saying you haven't been to Dubai and you would love to go. We'll make a stop there. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm happier than you are. I can't wait. You know, when you when you are with someone that you like and love, mm. and you go somewhere that you've never been, the experience is out of this world. I'm Okay, you said you want to talk? Yes. I'm listening. Truth is, the way you've been living your life recently, it is so carnal and vulnerable. We do not pray anymore as a family. The amount of money you spend on every little thing is outrageous. Uh -huh. Just yesterday, you ordered for a pair of shoe what? 5.5 million naira. Last week, you bought a wristwatch. What? 20 million naira. Do you think God is going to be happy? God will not like this, so God will not like it. This is not why he called you into ministry. I have to speak out, too. Uh -huh. Speak out now. Continue to speak out. Shana, only you have mouth. Speak out. We can invest this money in the lives of our poor church members. Those ones who have, who have nothing doing. 
we can we can start up something for them. Get, get them busy. That's all I'm trying. Are you done? Are you done talking? You don't pray anymore. Listen to me. This should be the first and the last time you ever tell me how to spend my money or what to spend my money on. The last time. God knows what I'm saying is the truth. When last did we pray together? When last did you gather your family for us to pray together? Every time you mount the pulpit, preaching to the people about fasting and prayer. Pray and fast. Yes, you don't fast and pray. You do not participate in any of the spiritual program anymore. You do not pray or fast again. Nothing. Nothing. Look, I'm trying to sleep, okay? I want to sleep. You want to sleep? You, you see this thing you said, you want me to go to Canada to go and give bet? That outrageous money they collect from people just to put to bed? I won't go. I won't go. That money is enough to feed over 300 of our church members. I will give birth to Nigeria here. We have good hospitals. You are the wise one. You are the wise woman. Keep talking. You are even wiser than your husband. It's okay now. You can give birth here. God knows I have spoken my peace, so I will speak the truth all the time. How can an ordained pastor come short of, of... Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! It's enough! Pastor Israel. Just shut up. Pastor Israel. You are telling the pastor's wife to shut up? I am the pastor. Who are you if the pastor is here? Shut up! My dear, what is this I hear about you and Pastor Israel always traveling outside the country together? Oh, okay, ma. Um, he made me his worship leader. Everybody knows about this. And we travel sometimes for church program. I mean, crusade, ma. And if I may ask, who and who does this travel with you people? Oh. We usually travel with um, some pastors and some... Ma, I hope I'm not in some kind of investigation or... I'm lost here. Listen to me, my daughter. You are very young, beautiful, vibrant and smart. And you were gifted too. You were once our choir director. And you choose to go with Pastor Israel. I am not here for discrimination. I want you to remain steadfast on your calling as a gospel singer. I am not here to discriminate. We are one body in Christ. So please, stick to your calling as a gospel singer. Can I make myself clear? Yeah, I 
fully understand you, Ma. Well, thank you for honoring my call. That will be all for now. Okay, thank you, Ma. You are welcome, and you can go. May God have mercy on you people. Bid it from going to see them ever again. Do you hear me? Do you understand? Babe. Don't babe me. Do not babe me. Why would you go to Papa Gio to talk about my matter? Why? To discuss me? For what reason? This should be the last time. The last time you ever go there. Do you understand? Don't, don't push me. a liar. Every spirit of confusion, every spirit of hatred, anger, attacking my husband, every spirit of manipulation, I cast you now. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cast you out of my husband. I cast you out of my husband. Father Lord, restore him. Restore him. Restore him. Give him the insight to know that it's just you, O oh God. Let him be obedient to his master. In the name of Jesus. Pregnant for me? What do you mean with this sentence, you pregnant for me? Huh? Have you not been the only one sleeping with me, like touring with this buddy? Okay, I get it. But please calm down. Don't don't shout. People passing in the corridor. Mm. Pastor Israel, you're getting married to me. Yes. You're getting married to me, just me, and I am not going to be a second wife. What are you saying? I have a family, I have a wife already. What, 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 Annabella, what is this? Ah, now you have a family and a wife. So you never knew you had a family and a wife when you were touring with me, when you were playing with me, right? When you're sleeping with me without protection. But you insisted on no protection. That's what you said. <laughs> I was just doing what you wanted. I, I, I was just doing what you wanted. Like you never enjoyed it. Hmm? You were sleeping with me without protection. I wanted it. Yes, but you were busy pouring your semen in me. Oh, you think it won't yield a child? Hmm. Uh, you're getting married to me. Yes. And Pastor Israel, we can do this. We can make it work. Look at me. I can sing. I can preach. I can take care of things. Ah, just take a look at it. I, I graduated from the best university you can ever get in this country. What else do you want? Hmm? What else do you want? Eh? Look at me. I have the strong business IQ that would take the church to another level. So what do you want? Hmm? What do you want that you cannot get from me? What will people say? What will the church members say? Are you thinking about that? It is not so simple. Come on, forget about what the church will say. You are the pastor. You can always hook up something to tell them, like the Spirit of God led you to this. Mm -hmm. Or better still, accuse your wife of adultery. I leave my wife. Leave my wife out of this, please. My wife has been faithful to me. I cannot accuse her of adultery. Okay. Okay, that's that's impossible. Now listen, Pastor. You're getting married to me. And just me. And I'm never gonna be a second wife. Never! <sighs> we paid the doctors. Ah. <sighs> to fake the DNA test that the unborn child of Angela wasn't mine. We framed him. Oh, oh my goodness. Paid them 20 million. They agreed to do it. 
and then I brought in this. Oh God, this devilish, this wicked lady called Hagabella. I brought her in because she told me she was pregnant. One week later, she had a miscarriage. I even thought it was Angela's dad who had gone diabolical. I confronted him. He almost killed me. Oh my goodness. I just put Annabella in charge of everything. Church finances, my land. She was just literally overseeing everything at the end of the day. She left. We took everything away. So, where is she now? The last time I saw her, she was... Oh, Jesus. She was on my matrimonial bed with another man. The very pastor who told me to start my own ministry. Jesus. Making out on my bed. Jesus Christ. I was shocked. I, I, I couldn't take it. He tried to escape. I stopped him. I was strangling him. And the next thing I knew, uh, I think Annabella hit me with something on my neck area. And before I knew it, doctor woke me up, or I woke up. And the doctor said I had been in coma for months. That's wow. how I'm here. Pastor Israel, where is your first wife now? I mean, your real wife and the kids. I saw her. I saw her. Wife. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I saw my wife, she was roasted corn. Jesus no. Christ! <sighs> okay, calm down, okay? She, she wouldn't talk to me. She refused to talk to me. She wouldn't listen to what I had to say. How can my wife roast corn? I lost my son. It's okay. It's okay, please. It's okay. Annabella just took everything I had. The land, the church, my house, the other houses. Oh God. I lost everything. I fell short of the glory of God. I lied to myself. I failed God. I failed man. I couldn't handle the mantle of God. I don't want to live it. I just want to die. Pastor Israel, we serve a living God. We serve a God of second chance, okay? You're going to be fine. You're going to bounce back again and it's going to be better and even stronger. Okay? You know what, Pastor Israel? You are a pastor, so you should know. We serve a God of second chance. He will give you another chance. Yes. He will give you that, okay? Yes. I hope so. He will. Yeah.
Take me to my husband's hospital. Take me to my husband's hospital. Oh, my Oi, madame, madame, sorry, now put it. While I was praying, the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said, you in particular don't deserve a child. Yes. Pastor, no, I deserve a child. I deserve a child. Pastor, I have been barren for years. Please, I deserve a child. Please don't say that, please. That baby left your womb because of the way you treated another woman's child, like a trash. Angela, Angela, mm. hey, hey. Pastor, please, please, I am sorry. Please, I am so sorry. Please, Pastor, help me. That woman you sent out of your husband's house is going through a torment. I don't know who she is, but then the Holy Spirit ministered to me. And he said, as long as she is in pain, you and your husband will never hear a cry of a baby in your family. Hey! Hey! Hey, Pastor! I'm finished. Pastor, please. Please help me. I'm sorry. Please. It's okay. Please. It's fine. It's fine. Please. Just sit down. Sit down. Please. Sit down. Sit down. Just sit down. Please. Sit down. Just sit down. Please. Sit down. Just stand up. It's okay. Sit down. <laughs> Lastly, she did not sleep with your husband. Your husband's brother planted those things in your bedroom, including the pad. <gasps> yes. Christine? It is. Pastor, please, please help me. What do I do? Please, please. The only solution to it is you two have to look for her and apologize to her. That is the only way the Lord in his infinite mercies and kindness will hear your cry and give you a child. Consider it done, Pastor. Like she said, we've been not just she alone, we've been barren. Yes. A child. Yes. I, I didn't know all this was as a result of the treatment she melted out to, to that to that young woman. Please. Fine. Help us. Help us. Okay? We will. We will. To Israel. Papa. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for, for everything. I did you wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm remorseful. I ask for your forgiveness. Please. Mama, please. Uh, 
I'm so sorry. Well, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You are welcome back, my lost son. Stand up. You are welcome back. Thank you. My lost son. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Angel. 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 It's me. Angel. I'm so sorry. Junior. Junior. I'm not Junior. I'm not Junior. I'm not Junior. My son. It's, it's me, Israel. Israel. I'm not Junior. Israel, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for everything I did to you. I, I framed you because I wanted to bring Annabella into my house. I am so sorry. I will never do that again. I regret. Forgive me, please. Okay? I'm sorry. My son. I'm not your son. I'm not your son. It's Israel. From Naya. They took your sister from there. Took your sister to the village. She went to see Grandpa. She went to see Grandpa. Yes. That's all Israel. They took her baby away from her. Eyewitness said they saw two men and they were dragging the baby with her. And these men are armed. Sadly, they could not do anything to her. They brought her to the church. And to the glory of God, I know she will be fine. Pastor, if you permit me, I would like to step into her medical case. Because a case like this is so shocking and it's inhuman. I, it will take some time for her to regain her memory, but I will create time for her. In fact, I have a colleague of mine who is a psychiatric doctor. Both of us teaming up together will be able to help her to gain her memory back. It just needs time, but it will. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Bella is a medical doctor and a surgeon. I am sure with the help of some of her colleagues, they can help her situation. I must thank you. Hmm? Welcome, we really appreciate you. I can't wait to see her regain her sanity. It, it will only take time, but Shirley will help her. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. You. Don't worry. You'll be going to be well. Yeah, yeah she, she will. Fine. But it will take time, but she will get better. <laughs> Anyway, anyhow, we, we, we'll find her. 
Take, take everywhere. I don't even know what to say. I don't know. Please, Angela, where could she be? Where could she Obina, my son, the rope that binds your hands is loosed. Separate your hands and it will fall off. Your captors are deeply asleep and the door is open. Carry the baby and run immediately. Wrong. 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 Papa! 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 Don't move. If you move, I will shoot your leg. Speak! Please, don't, don't, don't kill me, please. My name is Obina. Uh, please, I, I, I managed to escape with this baby from the hands of ritual killers. Who is the mother of the child? I don't know. They brought the baby to where I was tied inside the bush. Uh, let's go. This place is not good for you. Let's go fast, fast. Let, let's go, let, let's go. So that was how I escaped from the bush. With the help of your hunter from that village, he gave me the money to come back to the village. And he led me to a path where I can follow so that the police won't stop me and demand for the mother of this child. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> this is serious. Very, very. Mbako. The people are very wicked and heartless. So wicked. Mojo. So this is how you would have been dead with this innocent baby. God is great. <laughs> God, I thank you. Dear Lord, I worship you. Ah! Oh, been thank God you're safe. And the baby is also safe. Oh, such a beautiful baby. God is Lady Ruth, what a beautiful baby. I wonder the state of the mother right now. Hmm? Obin, 
Yes, uncle. So you didn't see Choma, your elder sister? No, I did not. <laughs> the most important thing is that you're safe. Thank <laughs> God. Thank God. God is wonderful. She's sleeping? Yes, she's still sleeping. Obin. Yes, uncle. What is the fate of this child? Uncle, cool. right now, I can't say. But well, I just want the baby to be safe. Let them not accuse us of kidnapping her. Uncle, cool. don't worry. I just want the safety of this baby. For now. It's alright. for everything I did to you. Everything. I am sorry. Please. Please forgive me. Forgive me, please. I know I accused you wrongly. I insulted you. I fought you, but I'm sorry. Have mercy on me, please. Please, Angela, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. It's okay. Thank you. I forgive you. Oh. Thank you. I'm not surprised. I know you have a good heart. was your night? Fine. Your father was in my dream. He was asking for your forgiveness. Forgive him. I forgive everyone. My love, please forgive me. Forgive me for all that I did to you, against you. I am so sorry. I deeply regret everything I did. I am so sorry. Deeply sorry. I'm remorseful, please. Let me such children. It's all right. Don't cry. Let me such so Don't cry, please. <laughs> Okay. And <laughs> memories can't leave me. It's all right. Don't cry. It's okay. Let me so baby. Oh, innocent baby. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> That is what he said I should do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mama, thank you very much. Uh, my wife and I, we have something we want to tell you. We wish to go to Angela's hometown soon. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What a good news. When are we talking about? Tomorrow, Daddy. Just tomorrow? Yes. Oh, my God. That's all right. I would have loved to go with you people tomorrow. Oh, Papa, I really wish you would have gone with us. Would have been, would have been but, amazing. Uh, but I have a program. But you can use any of the cars. My driver is there to take you to her village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> we appreciate it. <sighs> Angela. Pastor Israel, I am so happy for both of you. Now that both of you are united as man and wife, I know, I know the devil took what you might think is very important. But you know what? Funny enough, he took nothing. Because greater is he that is in you than him that is in the world. Amen. So Jesus. Jesus. Absolutely Amen. nothing from both of you. And your lives did not go for it. Angela, stop crying. I am happy to have both of you back. What a beautiful couple. And Pastor Israel, I know this ugly experience will serve as a lesson, especially to you. Yes, yes. Please, please try to remain strong in your faith. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to rest his hands of mercy upon both of you in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. We thank you. We, we are extremely grateful. We appreciate all that you've done for us. We thank you very much. Oh, wow. You're welcome. Pastor Israel, Angela, this is a token from my husband and I to both of you to start afresh. And if you ever need anything from us do not hesitate to come knock on our door this is like your home too you know yes so take this as a token from both of us all this We are grateful. It's okay. We are so grateful. Pastor, it's okay. 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 It's okay.
I pray for you today. I decree and I declare Amen. that the hours of pain, reproach, and shame is over. Amen. Amen. I also pray for both of you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. That affliction will not arise for the second time. Amen. And I said, it is well with your soul. Amen. It is well with your soul. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. So we had to break in. So I think they are dead. Jesus, you mean these people died in my hotel? Yeah. Are they husband and wife? So I don't really know. You have to check your record. Roll their marital status, okay? okay? And I'll go and call the police immediately. Okay. Deception is real. I don't want me a joker. From grace to grass, beware of them. Wealth in sheep clothing. Adani. Adani, is this you? How are you? I'm fine, sister. You are welcome. Please sit down. Welcome. Sister, where is Junior? Died of stroke. Jesus! No, 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 no! Papa! 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 Hey! He's still alive! Oh my goodness! Papa! Hey! Oh my God! No! Oh God! No! 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 Tell you back then. 
because you were going through a lot. I mean, we were going through a lot. Everybody was going through a lot. That's why I didn't tell you. It's okay. <laughs> Pastor Duke said he died of stroke. <laughs> I am partly to be blamed because the lies that I told <laughs> partly to be blamed. I'm so, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are right. That month you came to confess that you paid the doctors to lie about the DNA. Papa couldn't take the heat and the trauma. He was diagnosed with stroke and died that same night. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. You say it's okay. Yes. of searching for you in the city. I was kidnapped by some ritual killers. A day later, the same ritual killers brought in this baby with me. But I managed to escape with the child. I'm the only one. 